Yes, 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 people. Welcome back to GNA TV. I'm your host, Jim. So let's cue that intro. I don't know how I'm here. And it's you that I want to need. Yes, 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 people. Welcome back to GNA TV. I hope you are all well, wherever you may be on this busy fo footballing Sunday. I already know that Arsenal are losing 3-1 at the moment, so I need people to keep me updated on this game because it's it's bad. It's bad. Like These guys go and win a North London derby against Spurs. Gas it up. I didn't go and lose to, I didn't go and lose to West Ham. Like, what was the point? What was the point of beating them? But anyway, enough of Arsenal. I'm here to talk about the game today. Chelsea versus Sheffield United. Chelsea obviously winning 2 0. Obviously, it wasn't the easiest of games. We're going to touch on the, um, we're going to go through the player ratings. Um, we're going to drop the link in the chat as well. We've got some panelists that will be joining us at some point as well. Um, yeah, guys, um, please, please, please smash that like button. So, the first thing I need you to do for me, smash the like button. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe and also please, 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 please share. Share across all your platforms. Let's try and build up that audience. Let's let people know that GNA TV is live right now um, and in the house. Um, Joel's in the house. Joel says, ZH, ZH. And he's right on that. Big up to ZH um, on his goal today. Uh, Mustafa uh, Lewis Van Hukel is what he wants to call him at the end of the day. There's you can't. There's no point of you trying to be negative, bro. Like at the end of the day, we're in on a good run of form. We're playing well. You know, yes, it wasn't the best of performance today. Yes, there was players that were slight. You know, who were slightly underachieved in many ways as well. So it is what it is. Um, thank you. I hope you like the intro. Big up to One Rover's vlogs as well. Make sure you go and subscribe to that, that guy as well. Uh, Slen says, everyone, anyone gets more than 6.5 and we are right. Well, I have got someone that gets more than a 6.5 today, actually, uh, maybe two. So we will delve into that. Um, what I'm going to do is quickly is I'm just quickly going to drop the link to some people. Um, guys, yeah, tell me, who do, you, who do you think performed well today? Who was it that stood out? the most for you guys like who, who was who was who was the team um i think personally to be honest i thought um one second guys sorry because i'm trying to get get this out i'm gonna put the link in now quickly you can come in um yeah i think it was a what is the word it was a poor performance. I mean, the second half, we were we were really bad. I thought there was only certain individuals that had a good game. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's one of them ones in the chat. Sorry, people trying to ask where the link is. Link is in the chat. Um, yeah, you know, we're going to delve into it anyway. Let's start. The link is in the chat. If you want to come in and quickly have your say. I need two or three people. Anyone that wants to come in and join me on the player ratings can do so. The link's there uh, to come and have your say. Um, have I even got Kepper on it? Let's have a look. Because where the guy hasn't been playing for so long, we just delete him. <laughs> Literally, we just delete him. We just delete him. A man like Kepper. man like Kepper. Man like Kepa. Slens has joined us as well. Slens, how you doing, man? You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Not bad, bro. Not bad. Not bad. Good timing. Good timing. We we're just about to start on talking about um, Kepa and his, and, his, and his ratings today. How do you think he performed today, bro? Oh, I lost you there for a second. Are you speaking to me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. Do you know what? Kepa, he made one mistake where um, McGodrich went across Aspie, crossed, across the cross, and kind of uh, Kepa just palmed it into a dangerous area. But other than that, he wasn't too bad. They were testing him with shots from outside. Uh, I'd probably give him a six. You know, not, six nothing too many. 
Again, he didn't have to do much in the game. Um, yeah. I thought I thought we defended again quite well. Um, he was called upon in certain times of the game uh, where he did react. Uh, Alex has joined us as well. Alex, how you doing, my man? You right? Alex? No, Alex. Alex is gone. <laughs> Real Chris is with us. Real Chris, what are you saying, my man? Uh, I, I'm doing, I'm doing okay. Uh, kinda. I'm doing a lot better than this morning. I, I'm feeling really crappy today, to be honest. Yeah. This yeah, uh, no. COVID jab uh, has got me. How are you? Oh, how um, are you feeling, bro? Yeah, I'm doing okay. I thought it was an average game, to be honest. Yeah. But, um, yeah. It's just one of those games, isn't it? Like we we play badly, but we still win, aren't we? Like our defense is a rock. Zuma had a good game, and people don't believe you can play three at the back. He's starting to prove uh, people wrong, I think. Is it hard? Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I agree. I thought he, he had a good game. We will get to Zuma as well. To be honest, yeah. I actually thought um, Kepa had a decent game. Um, yeah. He didn't do much wrong. When he was called upon, he, he made the right reactions. For me, he was a... I'd say he was a 6, 6.5 maybe. There was nothing amazing about what he did. Um, but... You know, he usually he's, he's used to getting twos and ones. Let's be serious. Like we usually give him like the the lowest rate impossible. Uh, Alex is in the house. Alex, what are you saying, man? All good, all good. How are you guys all right? Not bad, bro. Not bad. How are you feeling about Kepler's performance today? What would you rate it out of? Uh, kept a clean sheet, and you know he didn't he didn't look. Uh, yeah, I'll give I'll give him a six. You know, I give him a six. Uh, I would just average performance. You know. We looked a bit shaky at the back, but yeah, I'll give him a six. A six, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to give him a 6.5. I thought he's solid, um, did his job. He's, yeah. he's getting his confidence up, I would say. He, he's looking all right. I hear that, I hear that, I hear that. People, please smash that like button. Um, please share on your socials as well. I know we've just jumped straight into it, and I know there's a lot of people on streams at the moment so they will all, all be coming over soon there's, there's a big debate that actually needs to be happening um on and it will be happening on gna tv once certain individuals come over as there's been a disagreement but connor's joined us now as well man like connor is in the house what's up saying, man you right man i'm good man it's early i need my my coffee get your coffee into you, mate this guy was watching yeah, at three in the morning that's that's like is in it? his time like, that's that six in the morning right now do you, do you know what I mean? That's 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 big and but Connor, we're just talking about we're going through quickly going through the player ratings and we're gonna touch on the game after. Uh Kepa, how do you think he performed today, mate? And and what would you rate him out of ten? Six point eight. Yeah. I mean, for keepers, it's their money's in when they're needed, they're small moments. So he showed up. Yeah, I mean he got lucky. It's like yeah. Tuchel put a magnet on the goalposts. So um, but when he was needed, his his hands were there. So six point eight. So actually I go seven. Seven. He it's a good confidence boost, I think. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. Yeah, I think one of the things Kepa needs at the moment it, when he's playing is a bit of a confidence boost, isn't he? Because to be honest, he's been so poor in form as well. Lambs is joining us as well. Lambs, how you doing? Hey, not too bad. Um, I've just come off um, of a live stream, so obviously they're watching the Arsenal-West Ham game. Uh, and it's a bleak <laughs> moment, so... Yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful to see yeah. Arsenal in pain at the moment, being upset, you know, losing the way they're losing, you know. And, and they were giving it all the big in, yeah, last week. Ah, we, you know, we beat Blimmin uh, Spurs. We're back, you know what I mean? Blah, 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 blah. And then they go to West Ham and they get slapped. But let's be serious. West Ham are the, are the bigger and better club this season. So, let's be yeah. sorry, that's yeah. a surprise there. I mean, but, um, I feel good about it. Only we kind of need West Ham to drop points. So, we kind of needed Arsenal to turn up, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Lambs, Kepa, what do you think his performance? I made a couple of good saves, actually. Um, another clean sheet as well, which, um, of course, only adds to our collective record. Under two, cool. I am impressed. Um, I'm going to give him... I'll give him a seven. A seven, yeah. A seven. All right, fair enough. I mean, to be honest, I thought... He, he weren't too bad, to be honest. But we'll move on. We'll move on to Krusty the Clown. Krusty <laughs> the Clown Christensen. And I'll start with uh, Real Chris. How do you think he performed? Um, he didn't do too much, did he, really, today, did he? Like, um, uh, I'm going to give him I'm gonna give him a six. Like, he didn't do too much. He got subbed off. Uh, yeah, like, he, 
he didn't do anything wrong though. So yeah, like I'm just gonna give him a six. There wasn't too much I would say about, I guess, Krusty the Clown. Yeah, yeah. Alex, what are you saying? Yeah, I'll give him a six also. I think he just did his job, you know, today. He just looked, you know, um, you know, I think the opposition today maybe wasn't the most challenging, but he did he did his job. And I'm actually, I was happy to see him play on the left. I, I was interested to see how he would do on the left hand side. So, yeah, I'll give him a six. Connor, Krusty Christensen. I'm going to give him a 7.5. Really? Yeah, so there was one run. There was one run in the back. Um, I think Zuma was covering two in the middle, and uh, he was actually able to get the clearance or to not get the ball off the uh, the run in behind. Yeah. Very lucky, he stuck a foot in. He had a clearance kind of like Zuma, and yeah. he had. If we're looking at this, he was subbed off. But I mean, my man had two clearances, two tackles, and my guy, you know, put in a a good shift of a ninety percent pass rating. So, I think. You know, taking the game off, maybe not being in full form, getting like a half a training day in. I think I saw on the on the socials coming in at FA Cup final when they're you know throwing everything at you, they don't care because you know they're down. And knowing what he can do, I'm I'm glad he didn't you know fall on the ground hurt and then allow a goal. Instead, mm. he decided to make what good clearance, which I think is seven point four, seven point five. That's average. So. Is that average for me? Five's an average, mate. Uh, your sevens are uh, an average. That's, that, for, that's a Chelsea, for a Chelsea person, I, I like to think a seven and up would be an average on every Chelsea player, or something mm. they should strive for. Yeah, Lambs, what are you saying? Um, yeah, I think obviously we can see he's not the um, Andreas Christensen of late um, since his illness. Not really too sure. Um, how bad it was, but you can see still a little bit, you know, it's not 100%. Um, but still, did a job, kept clean sheet, uh, like Connor mentioned, um, made a, um, a great tackle, good interception, um, great defending, and again, helps contribute to the clean sheets. Um, I'll, give him a, I'll give him a six today, because I know you can do better, but it wasn't yeah. too bad considering the circumstances. Gio's joined us. Gio's an AC Milan fan in the house. Obviously, he's happy with Tamori. The Tamori, uh, you know, taker from us. So to be fair, oh, but we're uh, getting G- back. We're getting back. Yeah, not the result though. <laughs> Gio, Gio, what are you saying James. about Krusty Christensen, man? man? Uh, you know how I feel about, but James, the disrespect on Tammy yesterday. What the <laughs> hell? Next time you guys put to disrespect Tammy, I need to be there to defend him. You guys are spoiled. You guys have so much young talent. That's why you don't care about your young talent. You have like. 40 young talent that could be world class, but you guys are spoiled and you go out and spend big money. Don't ever disrespect Tammy, championship player. Come on now. He's, he's championship. In the no, he's not championship. No. He's championship. He is, he is. Come on. Let's be serious. He, he's he's not good enough to win us a Premier League, Gio. But Gio, C- Christensen, tell us. Uh, did you watch the game today by chance? Or? No, it was an early game over here in California. Oh, so, right. Fair enough. I didn't get a chance to watch the game, but that's all I wanted to say. Keep up the grind, cheers, Jam bro. and Lambs, and uh, cheers. All right. Take care, bro. Thank you, my man. See you in a bit. Uh, I love, I love Gio, man. Gio, he cracks me up. Some of the things he comes out with, I swear. But nah, he wasn't happy about the whole slander of of um, Tammy last night. I don't know if you saw it, Connor, but we were talking about Tammy and Chelsea's attacking solutions. Obviously, Christian Pulisic was brought into it as well. Uh, Werner, Giroud. And uh, Tammy got a lot of stick from a lot of Chelsea fans because we just thought he wasn't good enough for us. Cool. And if he is good enough, he's like a third striker. In I mean, I hate to say it, but Chelsea's attacking is... is, uh, is changing underneath Tuchel I mean I was I was very um I wouldn't hold his performance against him Giroud but he doesn't it, I hate to say it man I mean he's a world-class striker I mean he's come up when we needed him but I mean it seems like you know the whole game plan of holding two defenders while a winger runs in behind just isn't working anymore there needs to be that one touch pass dynamic support in some way Man, it just seemed like – I mean, yeah, he was fed a couple times and he should be fed a little bit more. But at the same time, this is kind of like a, a stir-fry team today. Like, there's no real – they didn't build the team around a set plan. They just threw in people that needed minutes. Yeah. They felt like Sheffield was in the mud. Um, yeah. So, I mean, 
he didn't get a lot of service, yeah. but he didn't give a lot of service. And yeah, they were yeah. they were sitting so deep, it seemed like him pulling two bodies didn't really matter anyway. So hmm. we're gonna jump on to Kurt Zuma. Um, Chris, how did you think he performed? I thought he performed quite solid to them. Uh, like he's he's playing better and better every time he's playing that further back now. And like he's, I think he's starting to prove people he can play a further back. So. I'm going to give Zuma a 7.5 today. He did nothing wrong, and he did a few good tackles and stuff. So I'm going to give him a 7.5. Strong, strong. What are you saying, Alex? Um, I'll give him an 8 today. I think I think he was the best of the best of the defense, and he looked he looked you know solid. And he he, he actually his recovery is so good. You know, we can we, we we see how good he is in his recovery, and that's a positive that you know I've seen for the game. So. I, yeah, the best or the best player maybe probably in defense. Um, I'll give him an eight. Connor, um, eight. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go eight point one eight. There was one play in particular where they had us beat. It was like three or four on three, I think. And Zuma was coming back, and I know as a defender, I used to be a defender way back in the day. When you're yeah. like when you're running on your right shoulder back, and then you have to switch back to your left in the middle of your run in your stride, and Brewster cut across, and he was able to put a challenge in, nick the ball right off of him. Could have been if he wouldn't have got ball first, I think it'd have been a penalty. But yeah, like little things like that, like little things that you can trust in Zuma, and people gave him so much hate, saying he can't play in a back three, he's not reliable. And I don't think people understand that Tuchel isn't building a system around specific players. He's building a system that allows multiple players and player styles to succeed. Mm. And that's what he's doing. He's succeeding. So, I mean, you can't hold that against him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lambs? Um, I thought he was one of the best defenders today, actually. Um, it's clear to see that the guy's confidence is growing and growing with um, the more game time that he gets as well. And... Yeah, I mean, I can't lie. I was one of those sceptical people thinking, okay, why bring Zuma back into the team? Uh, Rudigan Christensen did seem to be doing a good job um, in the absence of um, Thiago Silva as well. So, you know, if it ain't broke, why try and fix it? But um, fair play to him and fair play to Tuchel as well. Um, really, really um, using our squad, um, rotating the um, rotating our players very, very well, man-managing our players yeah. very, very well. Um, and, yeah... I, it looks like Kurt Zuma can play in a back three. Again, he just needs time and adjustments. And it, I think that's what a lot of these players um, do kind of need. And you can see, um, not even just from Zuma, you can see players like Ziyech has had a um, decent couple of games as well. Havertz has had a as well. Nemo's looking better. And all of this, I think, comes from, you know, uh, the new manager coming in, like him actually listening to the players, rotating the squad properly, um, changing formation, um, Playing players in their right position as well, not playing the right position. So, um, I, I have been very impressed with Zuma. I thought he was one of the best ones today. I'm going to give him a seven point five. Yeah, for me, Kurt Zuma has shut up a lot of people that have, have called him out and said that he can't play in a back three because of his distribution. For me, I thought he played very well. Um, and the games that I've seen him play in the back three, Everton, where he kept DCL in his pocket. Um, who else did he play? It was uh, Atletico Madrid, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. when he got Suarez yeah. and Felix quiet. Joao and Felix, today, all of them. Yeah, exactly, all of them pocketed. And today, he again for me, he steps up. Um, and for me, was our, our best player. For me, he was my our best player on the pitch. I thought anyway. I thought he, he was he was he he was the best defender on the pitch. I thought he was better than yeah. Christensen. I thought it was better than Emerson. I thought you know it, it was a lot of. I think it was what um, Connor said. Like his recovery runs are really impressive. Like when that ball gets got knocked over the top, you think crap, yeah. and then you see him just manage to just sprint and keep up with the striker and 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 and, and a key interception as well, knock it out for a corner. And for me, it's I thought he was really really good today. Um, I thought he was an, for me he was an eight point five. I thought he was that good today. I thought he deserves more credit than what he gets. I think people. People look at him as being the defender that's the worst out of, of the bad bunch, of the good bunch that we've got at the moment. Um, but I don't think so, in my eyes. Winter Surfers join us as well. Winter Surfer, Zuma. Um, yeah, very steady game. Um, I didn't think they had much to do. Um, yeah, I probably, I'd probably give him a um, 7, 7.5 7 because they didn't really have much to do. In this game, thought he did his job well. Um, can't fault can't fault him for anything. So seven seven point yeah. five. Yeah. 
yeah, I hear that. I feel like with like, the way everyone feels today, like it's just like mm, uh, mm, because because <laughs> that game was horrible to watch, wasn't it? Really, let's be serious. It wasn't it was one of our best games. Yeah, you know? I think it was. I think it was bad for two reasons. One, everybody knows, and we don't have to speak on the problems that Sheffield's facing. So they're not confident in the team, and they're not confident in their attack. And it really took until Brewster and missing a few sitters for them to really have any chances or look any sort of. Uh, it took it took being at their lowest low to not care enough to throw everything mm. forward. So it wasn't it wasn't a real game. Like uh, Winter Surfer was saying, our back line really wasn't tested too much. Mm. But at the same time, too, it falls on our part because I stand by the fact that when I saw the lineup, I don't care about lineups anymore with, with Thomas Tuchel. I just take whatever he spits out. He says, yeah, it's going to work. But yeah, yeah. at the same time, trying to afford players minutes for you know taking sacrifices and sitting on the bench you're gonna have problems like a Giroud combo with Pelusic that doesn't really mix well or and then yeah. you may have like a mason mount that his final third plays in on par so that kind of link isn't there and then coming from an atletico madrid game where you see werner havertz and zh like they came out of the same vial and tube linking together you're going to, as a Chelsea fan, you get spoiled. You get a, a five-star course one day, and then you get a three-star the next. You're going to be like, what is this? So I don't I don't necessarily think that the game is like, uh Because I, I, when I looked at the lineup, I was like, okay, there may be some problems here. But, I mean, at the end of the day, we got the job done, and that's accredited to the system that we have. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I you know what I'm happy about end of the season? Cool. No more than Mick Goldbridge or whatever his name is. The guy terrorizes our team. He scores he three goals scored and that. he almost scores. Yeah, yeah he, he should have scored today. He should have scored that. that before was... the match, Tuchel put little magnets on the post and it was like Bruce <laughs> and him. They just, the balls went out wide. <laughs> yeah, and it, I just that's why we like... can't concede. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We're going to move on quickly. What we'll do is, instead of just keep going around and ask you individually, on certain players, I think we should just Go be very the, quick. The numbers, because yeah. just, there's not much yeah. to really say. But for me, Emerson was a 6, maybe a 5.5. He, he didn't do anything bad, great, or yeah, beautiful. That. It was just he'd done a good job. Uh, does anyone want to contribute no, to I that? that? No, I hear that. No, 6.5. Yeah, six no. Then, um, probably... yeah I'd give him an average yeah. 6 as well. Yeah. He got his what? charity minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about Chilwell? Obviously, there's is, is a lot of people that think he's he's really underperforming at the moment, struggling in this Tuchel system. We're not managing, managing to get the best out of him. We spent, what, 50-odd million on him, and uh, it seems like he's suffering uh, in the position he's playing. He did get his he did get his assist today for Ziyech, didn't he, to be fair, where he knocked yeah. it in. Can um, I, say, I don't think he had a bad game. Like, he got yeah. us the first goal and the second one pretty much. He helped. So I don't think you play that bad. What, what I'm saying, we, we, the thing with Chilwell is he's not really lengths above better than Alonso. And I think Alonso just has a good game. He doesn't really do much in my eyes as well. So it's like, it's definitely an area where I think we really need to improve on. Um, we we'll just yeah. say kind of, go on. So I'll, I'll make this quick. Yeah. I think Chilwell has so much potential. He's been developed as a really good right wing back. But the thing that kills him and that kills Chelsea fans is he'll do these movements, these runs, these overlaps where he gets into great positions right on the edge of the box, right in the final third, but he doesn't make that pass for some reason. There were so many times today where he, like, people would be up above him, Giroud, Mount, you know, Pulisic, uh, but he just wouldn't make that pass. He'd go backwards. And I don't know if it's because they want to play possession defense or, or you know, whatever, but for me, he does a lot to get himself in good positions, but doesn't just doesn't make that last pass, and that's what kills me. Yeah. I, I, I absolutely a million one percent back what you just said there. He he he's he should be more positive when he's on the ball and he he always looks for the easy option and, and that's something that's an issue because when, when we're on the front run the front or we're breaking, I don't want you going sideways doing two yard passes. I want you looking up and looking at people making runs in front of you, you know, and that's one thing that I think as a team we don't do well enough. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, uh wait the surfer, what do you want to say about you? Well, what do you think? No, uh, I thought he had a decent. I thought he had more than a decent game. Uh, can't go above really a seven or a seven point five for anyone really in this game. Um, I thought he, you know, first, you know, first uh, input obviously input on the first one, own goal, and then he had a hand in the second one. I thought he was. I thought he was. I thought it was. I thought it was good. As much as much praise I can go for any player, I thought he was yeah. good. Um, I can't go anything more. It's like. Really, probably seven. I'd probably withdraw my Zoom statement and put him out of seven. I can't go above seven, really. 
for, I think, uh, for anyone. I think there's certain players that we're going to get to today where you start seeing a bit of fire because I feel like some people are quite annoyed with certain individual performances, even yeah, though we yeah. won the game. And I think we try and always find something to oh, pick yeah, out. Yeah. Again. Have they? Yeah. What? Let's go to third. Who's it? Free, free. I'm hoping they draw. Terry's gonna be upset, man. He's gonna be upset. You got mad. <laughs> he ended. He ended the Chelsea review three uh, one. Yeah, um, just after Martinelli come on as well. Will, how do you feel about Chilwell and his performance? Um, I thought he was one of the better players today overall. I think, you know, he got the assist in there as well. I thought it was just a good game, but. I can't, again, as Andrew said, I can't really give him above a seven, so I'll, I'll just give him a six point five. If I'm being honest, I'll just give him a six point oh. five. Alex, anything you want to say on him? To be honest, I don't. I to be honest today, I don't think he was that amazing. Uh, mm. he got that assist, but to be honest, he didn't really look. He just I don't know with chill at the moment. Like we we brought him to the we brought him to the team to have that kind of attacking threat, and it just doesn't seem to add that in, in the whole in the whole game. You know, it's just I don't know. Yeah. No, I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. Um, we're going to move on to a man like Kovacic in the middle. Um, again, I think I'll probably keep it open with this one because I think he was... I thought he was average. Yeah. I don't think he'd done anything really? great. Yeah. Or anything. I, mean, yeah. I mean, the last game, he was awesome. He was mm. immense, you know. But this this one, for me, he was a maybe a six. Anyone else want to... I agree with Jen. Literally just a oh. six. I just yeah. say, though, average, average in a game like this is someone else is good. Yeah. yeah, I yeah. I don't know if Sheffield have been like you know juicing their players, but I was watching the game. And I was like, these guys are huge. Like, and you look at Kovacic and Gilmore; they're so small. They got bodied a couple times off the ball, and I was a little, especially my my little man Billy. But I think Kovacic, <laughs> I think Kovacic had an okay game. I mean, he's been relied on through Atletico through this. I mean, he's got to be tired, and they're very physical. So, yeah, I'm not trying to make excuses, but he did have an average game. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for him, I, for I, him. I, yeah, I agree. Go on. I give Go on. I give Kovacic a six point five. I thought his first half was a lot better than the second though. Mm. I don't think he's that bad yeah, though. I, I thought he was just decent. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was just I thought it was just average. I'm not saying something. So about six. Alex. Six, six, okay. Uh, yeah. I guess I guess maybe it's just it's he's been playing quite a lot of football at the moment. You know, I think I, I would I'll give him the credit to doubt that maybe he's kind of had a very good game against Silicon Madrid then. Hmm. Kind of came to this game and maybe a little bit fatigued, fatigued, but um, yeah, it wasn't his best performance. But he still did, he still did the um, the basics right. You know, he, he we didn't see any uh, special moments in the game, but he did what he had to do. You know, so yeah. he, he, he did I, I tie think... Christian Pulisic for six completed runs through the middle. So and he had it, <laughs> yeah. So they those two both had the most completed dribbles. So I mean, I don't know. I don't... Coach's passing needs to improve that for me, you know. Sometimes yeah, I agree. There's, especially, I agree. especially like long, more, like long passing range, you know. Short yeah. passing is really good at, but changing. He, like, done that. he he always he always takes the easy option sometimes for me. He, and, yeah, uh, he, he done he done that really good ball to Cho, didn't he, in the first half yeah. where he sort of whips it for it's really hard, hard and low, and it was it was a lovely little side pass. But yeah. I agree. I think Kovacic can't really look into him too much because I feel like he's 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 set some good standards this season. No, he's yeah. been playing very yeah, well for, for the team. And it's just one of the games, right, where we didn't play well, but we got the job done and we still didn't yeah. concede the goal. So as, as annoyed that we probably are with our performance, at the same time, it's one of them ones where you just take it on the chin. Lambs, what, what do you think? Um, I was going to give coverage. Oh, my God. Rice on a run. Oh, my God. He's going to score. Oh, he scored. What a run by Royce. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> yeah. I, what a run. What yeah. a run. Oh my. I thought he was going to score as well. I'm just, I'm just seeing it now, Andrew. Yeah. Great run by that kind of rise. But, um, yeah, Kovacic, I will... Oh, I'll give him six, really. Um, the fact that I didn't really notice him too much says that he, there wasn't really too much for me to complain about. Um, again, he has, I know he's been a little bit... Quieter, um, in recent games, but even a quiet, um, even a cover church who's not fully on his on his game is still is still a pretty decent cover church. So I'll give him a six. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Billy Gilmore, um, who I thought 
Mm. I had a, a, a good good first half. Second half, he kind of fizzed out a bit. Um, again, I'll keep it uh, overall. He, does, he hasn't been getting many minutes under Tuchel since he's been here. But I don't think he's done too bad today, really. I'd give him a, probably a six as well. But um, anyone disagree? Anyone think he could done worse? No, I'd say six. Players. I, I was going to say, he's such a intelligent player. For a young player, he just knows when to pass it and stuff. I, I really rate him. I just hope he just yeah keeps it going and you know keeps breaking into our team and everything. Yeah, with, with him, Fabregas passes yeah in the first half. Yeah, <laughs> he's just such a talented player. <laughs> he's always looking for that forward pass. He's always looking yeah. for those lines. And I feel like Jorginho can't, can't, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. The reason why um but, the reason why I feel like maybe he was a little bit a lackluster <laughs> in the second half was because of his size and he was going to get um muscled off the ball but purely because of his effort and the way he thinks and just how talented this guy is the fact that he hasn't even really got many many minutes as well and he's still i think he's still surpassing expectations given his game time i'd give him a 6.5 for his efforts yeah, yeah like, so, so I, I will say this i think he did extremely well at the age of 19 and his maturity on the ball he had the highest pass percentage in the game it and is. one of the biggest things that I feel like all of you, everybody notices here that I feel like is so important that Kovacic didn't really do this game. I was a little bit surprised is when we overload one side and then yeah. they Sheffield United shift to that side, they give Billy the ball and he does that little run in behind the midfield spins yeah. and then immediately turns it back to the other side to chill well to Hudson Adoy or reverse to Pulisic or whoever's on the other side. And that just that spreads them so much, especially when they're trying to sit back. I think he I think he did really well. And when he got subbed, everybody on Twitter was like, yeah, Billy, get him out. Like, the guy's 19 playing, I would say, probably some of the top football in the world, and he's doing well. He's been, and he's mature about it. That's not like one of his weaknesses. So, Yeah. Um, I'm just looking at Blimmin Twitter because Johnny's just sent me some images of Mason Mount lifting the Champions League and saying that he's coming very soon to, to, to have a chat. <laughs> he, he was I hope. Today. Um, I'm going to say Mason Mount. Uh... Mountain not onto him. Yeah. I don't think actually that, we'll get onto Mountain in a bit. We'll get onto Yeah, we will yeah. Bit, yeah. Stick to Gilmore. What, what yeah. anyone else wants to say anything about Gilmore could uh, um, I think he's gonna judge, be, it's hard to judge yeah. Gilmore, man, because he's like his last game was the last round in the FA Cup, I think. So he's yeah. a long time. Yeah. It's like hard to it's hard to really, you know, I don't know what people were expecting him to do today, that's mm. all. Um, it's hard in to yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like he's supposed to turn up and start spraying 50 yard balls all about, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, playing, like, playing like Tiago Alcanabridge or something, you know. This is, uh, yeah, I don't understand. So, six is more than more than fair, really, because you're right. First half, he was okay, second half, like the rest of them, they just disappeared, really. So, it's not what much about? You can do. Uh, if, yeah, Ooh. what what about Callum Hudson oh. Adoy? Because uh, really, um, I, know, much. I find it frustrating sometimes. You know, I just find him yeah. frustrating. Like he he, he overcomplicates things, and he I think he thinks too much. He doesn't yeah. just, just stick to what he knows, yeah. and it's just like uh, it's just with him. Is like, I think is I think the right wing back position. He looks dangerous, but I I do really want to see him play left wing because I think that's his best position because he can cut he can Agreed. dribble with his right foot on on. When he's playing right, when he's playing on the right side, the only thing you can do is just go go in and cross it. You know that, that that's it because he doesn't really have a left foot, so you can't really dribble in. So find it a bit frustrating yeah. at the moment with Callum, but he's playing. He's, but he's playing well though at the same time because I think I, I think there's more in in there. You know, obviously he's still young, but I, I feel like there's still there's still more of a player to find. You know, mm. yeah. You know, against um. Against Southampton, I thought he played better, and he took him off after like twenty minutes. <laughs> Today it was like, yeah. he, I didn't, I didn't. Uh, first half he did a few things, but second half non-existent. I thought it was pretty, very, very, very limited ab average performance today from Cho. Uh, very average. Yeah. If I'm yeah. being kind, if I'm being kind, I mean you get no yeah, more I'll than be, a, no more than a five. I can't imagine the It's it's it, like the first half. You know, it was doing what we expect him to do is hog the wing, be direct, whip balls in. Mm. At the second half, he just looked lost a bit, like in terms of what was being asked of him. Like he was having to track back more because we wasn't keeping the ball well enough, which means that he had to defend, which yeah. for me is not his game. And this is where we might find it a bit of an issue when we play teams and we ain't dominating games, you know, like we have been the last blimmin' 10 or 11 of games. Um, 
and and he's having to go backwards and and try and tackle people in our own box and stuff. I don't want to see Callum Hudson Odoi doing that. You know, I, if he's yeah. playing wing back, I want us to be dominating the ball. I want him to be able to, you know, us be able to find him on the wings and and and, and work to his strengths. Um, Connor, what what do you think, bro? Um, I I love every Chelsea player. I try to get every. I'm I don't have any. Some people have different sticks against different players, but. I feel like Cho wasn't necessarily, like you said, put in a position to succeed today. He has so much attacking potential. And then when you try to make him link up, and we'll get to it later with a Mount or a Giroud that really didn't perform well today, that whole side of the pitch really suffered. And he was kind of on his own. And yeah, like you said, it was more limelight on his defensive qualities, which aren't his best qualities. But I think that if you put him... In a different lineup, he can succeed at right wing back with a, a, a Havertz, a Ziyech, or whoever. Hmm. And if Mount plays like he's supposed to play, he could succeed today as well. But he just off game, I would say. I mean, he's got quality. Everybody knows that. If anything, I really think he needs to work on his shooting. I feel like over the season, if there's one thing that yeah. I think he needs to work on is his shooting. There's been so many times where he's made amazing one, two touches to get a shot off or create a little bit of space, and he just fluffs it or... But that's just, you know, uh, he's average today, average for me, off game. Yeah. He, he just needs that clinical edge at the moment. He just doesn't have, he hasn't got Which that yet. Which most Chelsea players do right now. So Yeah. yeah. Like he is 20 years old, you know. We, we, we still have to remember he's on, he is only 20 years old, you know. So, <sighs> so, yeah, I think that will come, you know. But, you know just, yeah, will, how, how do you feel about Callum hazard Adoy? I mean, I've called for him. I, I really want to see him in his natural position because I yeah. think he's he's a he's a very unique talent. But today, if I'm being honest, if I'm judging it off of this performance, I, I was very, very disappointed. I'd probably give him a 4.5, if I'm being honest. I think he was very, very average. And I'm not even saying it's necessarily his fault because, well, it is his fault, as in, I, I have to criticise his performance. I thought there was... He he was really frustrating today. Certain decisions yeah. here and there. As Alex said, he he overthinks things at times. And today was an example of it. So, yeah, 4.5. Charlotte's join us. Charlotte? Yeah, it is three, three. It's full-time, 3-3, three, three, just to let you know. That's oh, good. Wicked, yeah. wicked, 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 wicked. Uh, Callum hudson the Doy's performance today. What would you rate it? Um, Me being generous would be giving him a 5. Um, I, I, don't, I don't, it wasn't the Hudson Adoy we've seen, like you said, he, he's not the defending type. And if we're going to continue like that, he's going to struggle. He's not that kind of player, and that's not a bad thing about him, it's just he's not. Um, I mean, you saw like sparks for like a second of like the old Hudson Adoy, I think I saw it like twice, like a little spark for like 30 seconds, and then it just died again. Um, but yeah, he didn't. He didn't shine. Um, he didn't really turn up at all for me personally. Yeah, I, I get that. I get that. I think everyone's in agreement here. I know Johnny is forever. He 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 only ever backs him. He never says anything negative about his his players. Today, Johnny, how did Cho perform to you, my man? Uh, wasn't good at all. Um, okay. Okay. I, 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 yeah. He, like second half, obviously got subbed off. So for me, he was the worst one up front out of Pulisic. Giroud really didn't get that much service, so it's hard to sort of say he was shit. Um, but yeah, Cho wasn't great at all. He made everyone, like his decision making. Everyone, everyone was pretty average, to be honest with yeah. you. No one had yeah. a. Apart from Billy Gilmore in the first half, I thought he was he was bossing the game. Zuma for me was man of the match. Yep, he says what I said. Zuma, yeah. man of the match for me. Yeah, yeah but um, that's how people. Cause, not cause everyone will agree. Sim simple honest. reason is he was the only centre back in that back line once Tuchel made the changes. Yeah, and that actually affected us. And Sheffield United almost got back in the game because of that change. Um, because Christensen, when he came off, I get why he took him off because of fatigue and whatnot, but it, it did make us vulnerable playing Aspie and James on the right. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, like, yeah, everyone was Johnny. Like, everyone sounds yeah. so. De- everyone's even you. Everyone sounds so dejected today. Like we won, no, guys. No, we're no, through no. to the semi. We're I, through to the semi finals of the FA Cup. Do you know what I mean? Tell you what, Jim. Yeah, I'm. I am very happy. What? What? I, I was kind of expecting like a goal rush, really, because Sheffield United have been rubbish. Um, but I know. I know why. The reason why we played the way we did play. Um, which I can elaborate later on. But um, what I will say is we've won playing within ourselves, quite average, and we've won 2-0, um, and we're in the semi-final. I which can't complain. Leads on, which leads on to my next point, uh, next player. A player that Johnny defends a lot, a player that Johnny loves a lot, a player yeah, that yeah. Johnny will never let allow anyone to slander. I'm going to start it. I'm going to give my views of this player and then I'll allow you guys to money. do your thing. Money. It's made, made some money, Mount. Um, if you want my honest opinion, Johnny, and do not take this to heart because I know you're yeah. going to get pissed off with this. Yeah, I thought on. he was shit and I thought he should have. And to be honest, I thought he should have been taken off at half time because he was, he, was, he was getting the ball. He was taking too many touches. He was losing the ball in, in key areas. He just didn't look... He, he just it wasn't having a good game, but it wasn't just him. I'm just saying, I thought there was other individuals that had, had bad games today. But for me, he was just, he, he, he should have came off. He was a player I would have took off first in my eyes. I think he's, he's levels for him. And it might be because his levels are higher. We set high standards at Mason Mount. His levels of today were poor. And I feel like it, that what Tuchel should have done was pull him off like he did with Cho when he took him off at half time. Just to maybe set an example and say, look, you can't perform like that. We need more from you. You are a captain out there today. Mm. You know, and that's my opinion on it. Um, I'm going to let whoever else wants to jump on now and, and start this conversation. Um, wait, I'll I'll go, I will go. I will absolutely go first. Oh, sure. just wait, wait, go, just go I'll be really I'm going to give Mason Mount a 3.5 today. And that's oh, my it. God. That's three, way too low. I don't 3.5. Um, I'd just like to clarify. <laughs> Mason, if we're talking about Mason Mann, like let's let's be, let's, be, let's, let's be realistic. A, he shouldn't have had the captain's badge today. Fact. Mm. That's not oh up for debate. That's God. a fact. No, there are people. I mean, there I, are people. I do agree with that there are better I people on that had. pitch that are more experienced that deserve that badge. Mason Mount in a few years time. Yes, he could have that, but it's not a few years time. He's not even in his prime yet. There are people in his prime who had a better game than him. Do they have the captain's badge? No. Nice. Also, he was shit. Nice. He was actually shit today. Let's be real. In the Atletico game, did anyone miss Mason Mount? No. No one missed him. No one missed him or Jorginho. No one missed Mason Mount. No one missed Mason Mount, that money mace, that oh my god, Mason Mount, we need him in every game. No, we don't. No, we don't. We don't, we don't, we don't. I'm done. Let me tell you. Also, also, let's be realistic. Did you even I was like, is Mason Mount on the pitch? And then I'm like, oh yeah, he is. He's just being really shit today. I was like, damn, like as far as I'm concerned, I agree with Lambs. He gets a he gets a 3.5. Wow, that's done. Wow. I, I would give him a, I would give him a two to be honest. I thought it was that Whoa. bad today. I, I, was, I was being Whoa. generous, giving him a three point wow. five. That was I'm gonna, nice. I'm gonna let you all have your say. Yeah, and then Johnny, I'll we're gonna finish it. Don't all worry, right? don't yeah, worry. Yeah, yeah. Connor, Connor, Connor. Mind. Let's let Connor have his say. Connor, make some um, mount. Oh man, this is getting spicy. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty bad. I don't understand. He had time to rest. I mean, he was in the stands, energetic. You know, in the Atletico game, and then. The Mason Mount that we expect to perform Mm -hmm. made little to no effort out on the field. I mean, I understand he was up there with, uh, you know, next to uh, Pulisic, but I I saw Pulisic dropping back in with Gilmore and Kovacic to help shuttle the ball forward. And I'm thinking to myself, like, where – I, at times in the game, I would stop and I'd be like, where's Mount that? Like, we, he has great, you know, speed. He has great ability to get in between the midfield. And they're packing their midfield, bodying Bill Moore, uh, Billy Gilmore and, and Kovacic. You know, where's Mount to add some weight, some strength to this? And he wasn't anywhere. And I, and I see a little bit, I see my boy Christian just getting thrown to the juiced up mm. Sheffield dogs out there. And I'm just trying to find out where oh, our captain shit. is. So, I mean, I don't know. We expect more from Mount. I think he has it in him. 
I just don't know. I, I was confused. I thought he was going to show out today, and there was a couple times in the in the box where I thought that he's going to put it on his right and bend it in or something. But I don't. I don't think he's gone downhill. I'm not a reactionary fan. I just think that today, what people don't understand about Chelsea is that they didn't respect this game as much as we thought they would, and they yeah. did this. This game was a this game was a stir fry of players, a charity minutes game. Give Emerson time. Give Gilmore time, and then I think. I think Tuchel's head was to give Mason the captain's band to kind of settle Billy down in the middle and kind of because the midfield was a pretty was a pretty big battleground today. The back line didn't have too much. We didn't make too much going forward. It was a real WWE slam down, you know, with Mason Mount chilling. <laughs> FA Cup, but that, the economy, isn't it? Typical yeah, FA he, Cup. Yeah, it really yeah. is. So I mean, yeah. I'm gonna rate him low. He's better. We obviously know he's better. We just with Tuchel's. I'll make this quick again with Tuchel's the way he's building things now, players are going to be rotated. Key players are going to be rotated. You're going to be required to sit a game and come back and perform. So I don't know if he's used to under Lampard starting every single game, getting consistent minutes and finding his form through rhythm, but he's going to have to figure out a new way to, to perform when he's needed on time. And today he just didn't do that. Well, N New Ender said, did anyone notice how Tuchel ignored Mount after the game? Tuchel was fuming. I don't think Tuchel was that kind of manager to do that to players, to be honest. But mm. if, if it was, then it might have been misinterpreted. But he was angry with not, not even just Mount, but a few players. I know. Yeah. 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 He's angry you know at the performance. He's angry at the fact that this performance was poor. The fact is, is that it's a cup game. This is an opportunity that we're one step closer to getting a cup, a trophy. So, like, I'd be pissed off if I was too sure. I'd be cussing them when I got into that changing room. I'd be cussing them. Because, firstly, you have to take every game seriously. doesn't matter if it's Sheffield United or Man City. Don't care who it is. Take it seriously. Because that's, yeah. how, you, that's how you lose your way. And that's how yeah. you lose shit. Because this, this was a quarterfinal. We FA won. Cup. It, yeah, it, no. Yeah, no, I know that, but it, it, they weren't taking it seriously. And for me, you've got to take a step back and realize that this was an important game. Like for well, us, we got the second goal. They could have easily equalized, and then yeah, we they could. This is my point. They had average, opportunities. Honest, but, Literally, yeah. ZH saved our asses by getting that second goal. Because if ZH hadn't come on and got that second goal. I would have been fuming. Just, with 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 Tuchel, right? Rudiger had an interview, and they were talking about uh, Tuchel after after games, even when we've played very well. And you know, apparently, when he pulls them into when they're all getting changed and whatever after the game, and that he 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 actually doesn't tell them well done. He tells them about their flaws. So even before a game, when they're training and warming up and they go in, he, he'll talk to them and he'll go like, make sure you don't do this today because we know that, you know, you need to work on that. And apparently it's because he's doing that, it's actually playing in their heads and, and making them aware of it whilst mm. going into a game, which is why you're getting performances from him. And I think it's very clever from Tuchel that he's doing it, doing that anyway. Johnny's disappeared. He's got the ump. Made them upset by the looks of it. Um, um, I will say though, real quick, if you're watching the stream, like the stream, subscribe to GNA TV right now. If you yes. haven't done it already, you're behind. So do it now. Yeah, appreciate but it. I bro. just, appreciate I just want to say something. Just, sure. just, I just want to say something. When we're talking about Mount's performance today, we're not saying he's a bad player. I don't think anyone's saying that he's a bad player. What I think we're saying is he had a shit game, and that. He's being given too much. Like I don't know how to say this. Uh, he, he set, he's he being put on. Hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's being hard. put on a pedestal, and you need to bring. He is only twenty-two. We need to just remember that. Like he's not even in his prime yet. For me, Zuma should have had the captainship today, um, or or someone like Zuma because. I'm not saying just Zuma, but what I'm saying is experienced, who's been in there for a while. Like Mount isn't a leader right right now. He's not a leader right he's a now. Leader. He's, a he's not a leader right now. He's a leader. He's, he he uh, needs anyway, to learn that. He needs on. to learn that. He needs I, to I learn share. that. He is only on. 22. We need, we, we need to move on to the others as well. Will, what do you think, bro? Um, First half, I don't actually think he was that bad, if I'm being honest. I don't think he was good by any means. I thought he was just average. Second half, yeah, he ghosted quite a bit and then he got hooked off, yeah. I'd give him a, I'd give him a four point five or actually not, yeah four point five and yeah on the captaincy he should not be in the conversation to be our captain for at least another three to four years and when he's actually won things with us and has has stepped up in proper big moments as well. 
he has yeah. to he has to show to because let's be honest, oh. why would why would a player like Thiago Silva listen to Mason Mount and take orders off of Mason Mount and look Aspie. up to Mason Mount? It should be the other way around. Yeah. Be did, did he hand the badge to Aspie when he came off? Didn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, Winter so far, what are you saying? Um, he had an average game. I think three point five is is very harsh mm. uh, considering you know he wasn't he was well, not as if he was worse than anyone else on that pitch, but he's not getting more than a five yeah. for me at the very best. Um, he first half. Um, it was like most of them just average in the second half. He was like most of them just ghosted out. I was surprised. I think he might find that he now has to work to get back in this team uh, for a bit, only because of the way they performed without him against Atletico That's Madrid. That was a big game. No. Nah, he, just, he, he just might. He just might. He just might. I mean, he, you're might, right. Be, you might, are right. Good for, it's true. Good it's, true. it's good. We got, we got a big good for him. We got a big squad. Though. We got a big squad. He, you know, remember, yeah. remember, remember, he started nearly every single, apart from like injury or just a little rotation. Oh, sorry, suspension, just a little rotation. He started nearly every game. Maybe, maybe it's just at a point where he's coming to like an end of it, and it's it's a squad game. So he might next like three or four games, he might start off the bench or something like that, and it might be good for him. But you know, today he was he was. I thought he I thought he was like everyone else. I think he's mm. just highlighted because he got the captain's armband. Yeah, I think I he was get, like everyone else. Yeah. He was just, it was just, it was just average. Yeah. Very, yeah, very poorly, very poor to average. He wasn't yeah, a two. So. He wasn't a two out of ten though. though. Yeah, it wasn't two out of ten. I'll give, give him a minus one to be honest. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know you. Know. <laughs> Look, <laughs> guys, we still, we still won the game, but yeah. I think, I think just man, just, just he just had one of those games. You know, there was. He just kind of lost the ball sometimes. He, he just didn't seem himself. But we know, we all know what a great player he is. So oh, this God. happens to every single player. He is only 22. You know what I mean? It it'll be it'll be it'll be you know it'd be crazy to think that 22 year old has to perform every single game to a very high standards. He's gonna have these kind of mm. games where yeah, maybe of course things don't go his way. So, but yeah, like look, he he didn't have his best game. But look, but everyone else, to be honest, even next to him or anywhere else around him, weren't even that good either. So the thing is, like, I think we're yeah. just getting on Mount because he's been playing quite well. So he was the one. Ah, oh, he's been playing well. Now he's playing bad. Let's get on him. So, but yeah, he didn't look. I think Mount knows that himself. You know, what I mean, he he probably he didn't have his best game. He wasn't like. Um, it's moving transitions and passing yeah. and dribbles, but you know, he I think he moves on in terms of what, what things he has to improve. But yeah, that's what I have to say. Real Chris. Um, I'm gonna give I like Mason Man a lot and yeah, I hear whatever you're saying, like with the captaincy and everything. I don't think they should put that responsibility on Mason Mount. Someone who's a bit older, more experienced, I, I see, yeah. But I'm gonna give Mason Mount a four point five because he wasn't himself today. He mm. wasn't really pressing as much today. Um, he, he was he was just average today. That's all I'm going to say about him. Like, he's just an average average performance from Mason Mount. And I know he can perform better than that, like, any other game. So, yeah, it's just an average game for him. Yeah, sorry, I was going to give him a five myself, actually. Uh, I'll give a five. Five, Alex, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, five. Cool, cool, cool. Hassan's joining us as well. Hassan, what you saying, my bro? Yeah, can you hear me properly, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I was mm. going to say that with the Mason Mount. I think it was just an average game. It's just one of them games where it was just, you know, it's just a bad game, really. Something to rush off. Um, yeah, yeah. So I was going to reiterate what you said, really. Uh, he's young. Games like this are expected of people of his age. Uh, yeah, so rating wise, I'd give him a five. Yeah. And. I, I I personally think that he's not the only one that's been average today. Sheffield have turned up, but it's just individual quality. It's just quality different, really. Because if Sheffield had the same quality as those, they would have slapped us two or three nil. But yeah, that's all I was gonna say really about him. It's just not his type of game. We've all got high expectations, so. I think it was just average from him today, but I think he will yeah. bounce back the next game. Yeah, I hear that. Johnny, I want my everyone intro. talking I want, about I it. I want my intro first, Jim Boy. Right, yeah, you've got the intro. Do you know what? I can't even get it up here because it's not oh, been working. Man. But oh, I, I'll, man. I'll do this. I'll, I've already showed them this anyways. Intro. They've seen it. 
the Mason Mount. Oh, Champions that, League yeah. Trophy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's when we're gonna. Happen. That's when everyone in this panel is gonna put respect on Money Mace, yeah, because Money Mace has had one average. Poor performance today, all right? It wasn't even the worst performance of every player on the pitch. I can name quite a few that were worse than Mason Mount. Ooh. All right? That's okay. Well, there was one player that was worse than him. There was one player. All right, Ooh. so... Yeah, shall I carry on? Yeah, go, yeah, go. Sorry, yeah. sorry. That's all right. One second. Before you do it, let me just do this. There we go. Yeah. Go on. Let's go. <laughs> uh, so... Um, he was played in... Well, first, it's not his fault Tuchel made him captain. There ain't no leaders on that pitch. Drogba's not... A, sorry, not Drogba. Zuma's not a captain. He's not a captain. He's not a leader in that back line. So what the hell? Why the hell is he going to be a captain? He's not. Giroud's not a captain. Kovacic is not a captain. The only captains we have in our side are Jorginho, Aspilicueta, and Thiago Silva. And none of them were on that pitch. So Mount is the fourth ranking as captain and deservedly the game was given it and you have to respect that yeah all right so that's not his fault everything that mount goes through and he's given he's given opportunities in this game if you watch this game he was played in three different positions in this game he was played as a six he was played on the left in the middle as a camera and he was played as a false nine in the whole game. Yeah. Okay. And and two of those are not his positions, really. Okay. So, so you're saying his performance today was because he was out of position? Is that what you're saying? Well, um, he's had to adjust. He's had to adjust. Uh, not only being a captain and he was vocal on the pitch, but he's had to adjust in three different occasions. And the actual moment where Sheffield United almost scored with uh, McGoldrick was when Tuchel put... Mount as a false nine. Johnny, out of interest, just a quick yeah. one. Who who do you think was the worst player on the pitch? A doy. Okay. You Adoy could argue that. Yeah, you could argue. He was the worst player. I agree. I could agree to that to a degree as well. To be honest, he, he was losing the ball a lot in the second half. But I don't think Mason Mount. I John, think him and Mount were as bad as each other. Go on. Yeah, go for it. Um. Yeah, you know, you said you, there's a uh, like a fair few players are worse than him. Who, who else do you say was worse than him? Well, I'm quite uh, curious. You, you could uh, you could arguably say Giroud was and yeah. Yeah. might as well not been on the pitch because yeah. uh, in, in his defence he wasn't. He hasn't played a lot, has he? Well, he, he, hasn't, he hasn't wasn't getting that much service, and he was hasn't played yeah. a lot. But um, he was just immobile, uh, yeah. really. Yeah. So it, yeah. it, it, it broke down our attack every time yeah, um, because you you were over reliant on Pulisic and Adoy. So if they weren't turning it on, I mean, Pulisic tried and he got hacked. And I was very happy yeah. with Pulisic, actually, because he got hacked about four times. And I can't believe they didn't get booked for any of them. All right. And he kept going and he stayed on the pitch, didn't get injured. And after like the third one, he made that lovely little run at the second half, a uh, little dribble and he almost scored. Um, and that was the bit of the old Pulisic that we, we've seen. And I feel like, this is going to be the start of him coming back. But well, we're going to him but, now, anyway. Yeah, so yeah, we're going to him. Oh, go. All right, but, go but yeah, with 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 mate, money, mates, mate. Like, yeah, I don't want to hear the slander, really. I mean, it's not like I'm. I'm not saying he had a, a fantastic game. He he did the best he could. He was played out of position three times. I don't think he done the best he could, Johnny. I, I just don't think he. Had, I just well, think he, to be fair to him, be, to be fair to him, he had, he had Billy Gilmore in there. Like, no, but he was even the basics, Johnny. Right in the first half, he was taking too many touches on the ball yeah. when he should have just been releasing it. Yeah, uh, too many touches in the final third. When looking up, it's a who, Jim, and not just bro. that, where he took too many touches on the ball, he was losing the ball because he was getting shifted on the floor. The amount of times I see him lose the ball and and and, and collapse the on the floor. The whole front line were losing through. the ball, Jim. So, let me just oh, yeah, I, just, Johnny, Johnny, like, I just want to add one thing. He, he's done that better, and this time, this thing, this game, he just didn't. Yeah, game yeah, that yeah but Mason Mount I mean, is allowed out of the whole season. He's allowed to have. Yeah, of course he can. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm just saying. saying that, that's what we were saying, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's not. He's Jim not could ask you a question. Or a two. That's that's nonsense. That's, that's Jim could that's ask you a question. So, 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 it's yeah. awful. Go on, go on. Like, a doy is about a three. Wait, let him finish his point. Not Mount. Mount. Mount for me is a five. He's a five. Yeah, five. Right? He's a five for me also. Yeah, okay. he's a five. 
I said 4.5. Yeah, same. Yeah. Yeah. So, five. I, I just want to say real quick, I think what is going to hurt Mason Mount at Chelsea the most are people that try to push him at such a young age to be this leader and this carrier of the team. Yeah. I think today he got more caught up with being the captain. If you look at his heat map, his pass percentage, his balls lost, possession loss, I think that he needs to focus and develop more as a player than he does as being a captain right now. And I personally think that anybody else in that back line, Christensen Zuma, would have had a better time with their lack of activity in the game at being the captain than Mason Mount trying to, to be a, a yeah, captain when know, he's so you know young what, yeah. he needs to be developed. You know what? The, this game as well, you've got to take into consideration, and, it, and it's a reflection of the performance. Tuchel made about eight changes in this game. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and, and, and that, and that, that no many. matter how good of a, a player you are, you, you're going to struggle to connect with all of those players and play yeah. fluid. That's true. Can I say something? Can I just say something? Um, just to clarify, this isn't Mount's first time being captain and he didn't have a problem last time. So I don't really, I, I can't justify him being a captain as an excuse because he's been a captain before no, no, I, and I he's done fine. No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, I'm not, I didn't mean excuse. I meant like he's already done it before. So why would he struggle today if he's done it before and been fine? Um, oh, I don't yeah, think we can really use that. the. I mean, we can all use the position excuse, but I think overall, I don't think anybody deserves recognition today. Like, uh, like yeah, as, me, far, as, I, as far as I'm as I'm far as I'm concerned, good. I don't yeah. think. Whether we can say a player plate was in the right position or not, they still well, all played shit. They still all played shit. Yeah, all right. Whether he's I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you know, yeah. but I'm not, I'm not just digging in on Mount. But what I'm saying I'm is, you, 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 you can, you can make, you can make Mount, you can make Mount all you want, but he still, he was still shit, just like everybody else. Right. Listen, what I will say is, did any of any of those other players on the pitch have to play three different positions in that game? Yeah, but it's not an excuse, Johnny. Yeah, but it's no, 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 no
has he's he's underachieved in a lot of people's eyes. He's been very, very, very poor. He's not been able to hold his pace. He's not been able to do what he did last season, which was uh, you know be direct, drive into pockets, uh, attract players. Um, he struggled it, for me. Sometimes I felt like he's got he's had like ice skating boots on a saint he just he just struggles with the ball at his feet and it's, it's like today he was very good the second half he came out and he stepped up and, and and if he can get back to that for me um then then we could have a very good player in our hands but what are your thoughts on Christian Pulisic as a player for Chelsea this season and, and his performance today yeah so um this is a, a complicated question that deserves an equally complicated answer. It's not just like he is X, so X plus Y equals he's shit, or X plus Y equals we sell him in the summer. Like He's still developing. He is injury prone, but that's not pe- – players have been injury prone and then a, a lengthy preseason, which they didn't have, where the, the club specifically focuses on develop, developing him physically – can change that. I mean, you know, it, it, I mean, anybody that's not injury prone can go break their fibia tomorrow. And then next thing you know, their careers change. Like yeah. I guess injuries like come and go, but true. He is set back by injuries and he's, is out of form, but he's paid for it. He hasn't, he didn't start uh, for the longest time underneath Tuchel and the team still succeeds. I'm not a Christian fanatic. I'm a Christian fan. So he, he did his time and the media tried to like push this whole, he's unhappy and wants to leave. Pulisic came out and said he was fine. He understands that he's out of form. He needs to sit. He needs to provide players that are in form with time to help Chelsea succeed. But again, like, you know, we could sit here and debate the odds and ends of the season and flops and not flops. I mean, he hasn't performed the way he was after lockdown, and that's that's evident, but he's still class. He's still young. Do you think we should sell him, Connor? Do you think Absolutely. Chelsea should be getting rid of him? Absolutely not. He has, has a big chance. injury. injury yeah. Yeah. Big no, up. he sh- should not sell him. That'd be the biggest mistake. Yes, be- we should not. He he's one of the players which we can't he's special sell special players. I think he's more valuable than Hudson Odoi, and that's like a another huge topic. But for me personally, like Ooh. he is developing. Okay, he's injury prone, but he has a lot of potential. He has a chance to fit in here. We lose him, and then who do we – like, I don't think people understand, like, football is not as easy as, like, I don't like this bag of candy. I'll go get another bag of candy. Like, you want to – we have a player that has performed here in the league, and some of his problems are being injury prone, right? So what do we do? We go out and try to find another winger that hasn't played in the Premier League. Maybe he doesn't adapt just like we thought Timo Werner and Havertz were going to adapt right off the bat. And then he goes somewhere else and he <laughs> then plays against us. Why not keep the depth? We have the pocket for it. He doesn't mind sitting games if he's not in form. He doesn't mind playing behind you know Werner or, or Ziyech if he's out of form. So why not keep him and develop him as a player? What if he... I'm not going to sit here and say we should sell him in the summer. I think that's a big he, mistake. He's a good professional, you know. He, he's, awesome. he knows, he knows I am. I'm. I'm a little bit confused. Today. You, you keep. You keep saying he's he's got an injury problem, and I understand that. But he's had five injuries at Chelsea, uh, in in not even two seasons. He's had 21 injuries in 20, and he's only 22. Yeah, but those um, are 21 no, no, injuries no, no, no. is like a hamstring, and he and he sits. He he sits like one. No, but week. this is my. But but he's had five injuries in two seasons, and he has been out for a lot this season. Let's be real. Like he has. I'm not playing. I'm not saying he is not capable of showing us what he's performing. But do do I want? It's like say. It's like saying I'm going to make a pot of tea, and I wait. I got. I have. A, I have. I have a porcelain teapot. And have a chocolate teapot. Which which teapot's useful? The one that actually stays all <laughs> solid the whole time and actually holds boiling water and does its job all the time. Not the one where you pour hot water in and, and it melts. Like it's it's the fact. Because so, I'm talking, yeah, yeah. my problem is yeah. is he's injured. And he he gets injured and then it, there's big games where we need him and where we could have used him and he's not there. And that just frustrates me because I'm like. If I'm, if you're paying, if we're, if Chelsea are paying you all this money to just be injured and sit on the sideline, bye, you can go. Like, I don't have a problem saying bye because I have, I understand where you're coming from, but I think if by the end of next season he's not, he's done a done of this season, I'm ready to get rid of him because if you're not going to, if you're going to be injured for more time than you're going to play, then I don't want you at my club. So Sorry, he hasn't, he hasn't horrible. been injured. Yeah, that so he's been horrible. available. He's been available for more minutes than he's been injured, by the way. He's, no, been, no, cool. he's been eased in because you don't want him to just rush back and get an injury. And, and, today, and like the same thing is, is like, do we say Thiago Silva has a problem now because he's sat almost four games because we don't want to rush him in? No, that, is he a chocolate teapot now? Oh, no, 
because he's only had one injury. Let's be real here. Pulisic has had five in nearly two you seasons. You say five, but That's one's a hamstring. That's that not is. Oh, that so is. The hamstring. Oh, oh, I don't care. If you have Charlotte, five, go run 90 minutes for me. Injuries. Charlotte, go run up the no, pitch no, no, 90 no, no, minutes. No, 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 no. I'm not talking <laughs> about let me let what Bobby I'm talking you. about. What I'm talking about is the fact is, is that... No, it's okay. It's okay, like, because you're all going to see what I see at the end of next season, which is cool, because then I get to say I told you so, which I love saying. I really love saying, you know, it's you one of my favourite things. And now he's coming into form. That's cool, but Pulisic isn't. But Pulisic isn't. He's assisted and he's, he's performing. But everyone's calling him Captain America. Oh more like God, Agent no, USA. Go. More like Agent USA, oh, like. Stuff, yeah. I'm telling you right now, one nil Leicester, I, one nil Leicester. I, res I respect your opinion as a as a fellow person that watches football and as a fan. And if if football was as simple as chocolate and porcelain teapots, I'd probably be doing Thomas Tuchel's. You know, the job is him. But as uh, five, your claim to selling a player because he's injury prone, that is an easy fix rather than someone not being quality not being able to finish over extended periods of a game. But he hasn't I mean, turned up. He hasn't. Okay, wait a minute, so, okay. Charlotte. Wait, okay. I, wait no, no, a minute, no, no, wait no, a minute. No, no, I'm no, coming no, in. No, 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 let me just say, let me just say. Who turned up during Lampard's era? No, no, so he had a Barnsley. He he had, he has had oh, several opportunities at starting God. lineups. Wait several a minute, Several opportunities. At, no, no, hold on, let me finish. Can let me finish. He has had seven, no, no. He's had, no, that's a cool story. Yeah, there is progressive runs, Will. Don't turn into anything. Thank you. And Let me talk about this. He came, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. You're about to get that. Let me, let me, let me just finish. Here we go. The Barnsley, the Barnsley game. Was he? Tuchel already said. No, no, no. Wait, Will. Just wait for a second. Just wait for a second. Tuchel said if he'd have actually turned up, he would have actually had a starting lineup in the Premier League. Did he turn up? No. Let's just say he's had two other starting 11s and he hasn't turned up. What's the point in having a player that doesn't turn up or has a run of like two games and then just turn it off? Charlotte, Charlotte. Three, so, three, so now three, that three, Charlotte's three. running our player management, we're gonna get rid of Cho. We're gonna get rid of anybody that doesn't no, turn up. Hudson Odoi is better than Pulisic right no, now. No, 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 no. I said right now. No, he's not. 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 I'm talking about the fact that Charlotte. this season Hudson Adoy since Tuchel's come in, Hudson Adoy has been better than Pulisic because Pulisic has been paid for a fine. fucking reason. Chose Wait a minute, Chose Chose declining, oh. Oh. He's declining at the minute. Jesus He's so getting stop. worse. Wait, Wait, everyone, can I name second. the games where Pulisic everyone, played everyone well? Stop. Can I name them? Uh, can I name them? <sighs> Well, let, I mean, let, let's let Will go. Let Will and then let Alex go, yeah? Okay. Let's so let Will and let Alex go. Let's have a people talk. Come on, let's go. Go to Burnley last year. Got a perfect hat trick. Oh Brilliant. Against Watford, scored a great goal. Run the game perfectly. Against, against Valencia, scored in the Champions League. Excellent last year. as well. Okay, at Ajax. Ajax when has Hudson Adoy done this? Won a penalty. Won a penalty. Last year. You look last at the rest year. of the game. No, okay. Last, last year. year. Last year. Do you know what? Will, you say, Hudson Adoy did this year. Wait a minute. Will, can you do this year, please? Because I'll wait. Krasnodar. That's where he got a goal. Can we do Hudson Adoy for this year? He's never scored a consecutive goal or assist in Chelsea. Against Aston Villa. Dribble past two. He's not in a game. That's a pre-assist. He's totally not in a game. today? Against Oh, shut up with your pre-assist. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Because he hasn't turned up today. So okay, wait, 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 you know, the thing is a Pulisic situation, and I understand what um, Charles is saying. He has been injured, and he is only 22. And it is, it is a worry, you know? Like, at the moment, he seems like he can't really do a pass the player. Like, okay, he did that flip flap today, but, you know, you know, like, sometimes he just needs to be... be uh, he's just, he, I think he's trying too much at the moment. Yes, he's trying to get back in. The, in... Can I go in? Can I come in? No, he's frozen. He was doing so I, well. I, I like what he was saying. Mm -hmm. 
I want to say oh, right, with, with with Pulisic, yeah, with Pulisic, you do not sell a player like Pulisic. You just do not sell him. He he will he will today today he proved to me that he can take the knocks. He took four four or five really nasty knocks today, and they've been and training he, him and, for that. And 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 he and he he got through it, and he almost scored through. He had three Sheffield United players around him, yes. and he got through those. And he, unlucky, if due to match fitness, he went straight to keep out and the rebound, it could have gone in, but it didn't. But a doy can't do out. that. Ziyech can't do that. All right? They, they just can't do it. And he's the only player that can do that moment of brilliance. And a player like that, as long as you are man-managing him well, which Tuchel is doing, he kept him on after, he is going to come good. And if he can stay fit, he's going to be the difference in our remaining fixtures. I'm telling you now. So, Pulisic um, will be the difference. Can, Adoy, Adoy can has Alec, declined. Can Alex finish now? Uh, hold on. Adoy has declined Sorry. since, uh, I would say, probably the Southampton game for me. He just hasn't been the same. I think he was good versus Atletico away. He, he yeah. was all right. Yeah, he was good with Mount. But apart from that, uh, what has he done? He doesn't take shots. He doesn't... I mean, he just... Oh, his delivery how... isn't there. It's a, he, so that's the reason why he's he's bad, he doesn't take shots. He's a fantastic Wait, talent. No, no, he's a talent. Can I say one, one last thing? Is, uh, uh, Pulisic is, on his day, is uh, miles better than Odoi. Let's go, day. Alex. Let's go, Wait, Alex, and let's I go, Connor. I just want to say one quick thing, yeah. It's like, I think we, we both have two great talents in Europe, you know, in such a yeah. winger. So let's, let's just be patient. But with... Pulisic's situation and injuries. You know, the thing is, I think, if if we had Pulisic and he was only one of the only players that we had that we could play, then I would I would maybe let him go. However, our team, because our team is so... Um, we have so many players, actually, at the moment. Our, our team is so good at the moment that I think we should keep Pulisic because the thing is, at the end of the day, like what um, Connor was saying, is that... Because we have so many new players in our in our team, you know, if Pulik Pulik is is out, we can always fill in for him. Yeah, he's not like a player if we if he's not playing, you know, we don't have anyone else to play in that kind of position. So I think if I'd rather try and keep him and see how he gets along, you know, and, and kind of develop him more because we have other players and can can come in and do that job. If he was a player that we had to really rely on him. And then he was getting. Yeah, we don't have to right now, Alex. You're right. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We don't have to. <laughs> yeah. Pulisic. That's yeah, what I'm we're not relying on Pulisic. So if we're not relying on him, then it's fine if he gets one or two injuries because we have also have other players who can. Step yeah, up but I also think we still we, we still need another winger as well no, because no, I don't no. think three wingers is enough. But, Jim, at the today club. Good, but, but just to but, clarify yeah. something, yeah. we we need to keep Hudson Odoi. We need to keep Hudson yeah, Odoi. Yeah. I, I understand. Course, no, I'm just stating that. Time, but yeah. I, I just want to ask something it, between Pulisic and Hudson Odoi. Um, who's the one that Bayern Munich are chasing? That would be Hudson Odoi, <laughs> right? Who, who, who's? Uh, I'm Munich sorry. Just to clarify, Pulisic isn't being chased as much as as Hudson Odoi. Hudson Odoi is their main target. Let's be realistic. Pulisic, uh, yeah, no, I don't care. I don't care that they well, are. Take him. Take him. Take him. I'll, guys, him. I'll take him. I'll give him away for free. Guys, let's let Connor go. But if we're going to be up between Hudson Odoi and Pulisic, I want to keep Hudson Odoi more than I do Pulisic. That's fair enough. Let's, 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 the most player we've got in our squad, and you want to get rid of him. So, oh, you're calling let's, 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 him Hazard-like. Oh, oh, Hazard-like. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, joke. That's a joke. No, no, let's, I don't let's, joke. Let's, 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 I have, I have never seen a fan base that like, and I've seen people that hated Jorginho. I've seen people that hated Christensen. There are people that hate Hudson Odoi. There are people that come after Christian Pulisic. You know, we need to sell him. We need to get money for him. There are people that come after Mount. We have so much worst, depth. Uh -oh. We have so much depth and yeah, so yeah. much quality. I think I the one thing I will agree with Charlotte on because I think she's 100 percent wrong on the Pulisic situation is Hudson is a major talent that can be developed into such a good player. Why can we not keep them? Why can we not have both? Why can we not we have Zia? Yeah, why, why can't we? Pulisic. 
Yeah, no, I know. I know. I'm, I'm just fun. saying if it comes what? down to it, if it came down to it, like if it came down to getting rid of Pulisic or Hudson Odoi, I'd rather keep Hudson Odoi. It's not come down to that though. We I'm, have, I'm not saying that. Guys, I'm just saying if it did. Opinion, yeah. I'm not saying so, it is. I'm, when, I'm saying a, I'm, I'm willing. I'm saying I'm willing to give Pulisic another season. But if at the yeah. end of this season he's injured, he's he's been out injured more than he has played, then I don't really want to keep him. Yeah. So I don't yeah. think so, that's me being unfair. I, before, like I, like before I was we, saying before we go on to the next thing, uh, I need because there's people trying to get installed, so I need to free up some space for people because it keeps <laughs> messing me. Ads is one of them as well, so he keeps trying to get in. Um, uh, real Chris and Alex, cheers, guys. Yeah, I'll can, I, uh, something. Something. yeah. can I say something? Can I say something before I go? go Go on. Do not sleep on Ziyech. Do not sleep on the guy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He doesn't I'm like gonna it. I'm going to say that. Big up, Chris. Do not sleep on him. Yeah, um, can, we, can we go... Can, when Ads comes on, can we go at Fred? Because he... Oh, I yeah. Yes. I want to be on, man. Because <laughs> why is... I, I'm starting to question why Fred is a footballer. Like, why is he? <laughs> can I just... Um, <laughs> just can I just mention Lester something that someone said about... Up. That's meant someone said about we shouldn't sell our best players. I'm not afraid to sell players. We sold De Bruyne and we sold Salah. We so need Pulisic Pogba. has to go. Charlotte, Charlotte, Pulisic Pogba. has to go. He goes. Pulisic, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm, not give me a heart I'm not having. I'm not having an injury <laughs> player in our squad. Me defending no, Pulisic is going to give me a heart attack. <laughs> oh Ad, God! I'm Ad, sorry. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't. I'm going to die. Guys, guys, guys. Ads in the house. Ads in the house. Is he? Why is Fred a footballer? No, I'm not. I, listen, I'm not even in the mood to even talk about anything. Is like Paul Pogba injured? Right well, Paul Pogba's down and injured. Had, all on his no, like I'm honestly not having a great day. So I, just wanna, oh, yeah. I just want to talk about what I came to talk about. Right? Oh no! I hate. Ooh. I I listen. I love. I love. I love. Listen. The reason why I love Chelsea fans. Uh, the reason why I love Chelsea fans is no matter how much quality they have. It always has to be one player that has to be better than the other and has to leave the club. Like, what right, is it yeah. with you? Well, what they always want man. Man. I'm sick to death of it. I'm sick to death of it. Like, personally, I'd keep Pulisic. The reason why I'd keep Pulisic is because, mm. like, who knows? He could recover. He could recover from injuries um, a lot better under Tuchel. You know, who knows who he can bring in for the board um, and actually make sure that... Um, Pulisic actually gets better and heals quicker after an injury. And Charlotte, I think it's I think it's rubbish how you're there talking about how Hudson Odoi gets you know picked up more from other clubs because what is an injury prone Pulisic going to have to do to get that to get the same attention? He's injured all the time. He's injured all the time. What's That's my to? point. We're never going to be able to get rid of him. So he's a waste of space in our squad. What the Thank hell? You. No, he's that not is, a waste of space. Hard. That's hard. It's not. No, not you will. lot need to get. I'm really right. surprised. You need to get a grip about your your player. team and support what? your players. Pulisic on his day. Would you, wait, Andrew. What did you say, Andrew? I'm really surprised you're willing to die on the hill for an injury prone player. For an injury prone elite talent. Yeah. yeah. Elite. I don't care. Elite. Yeah, elite talent. You know, elite talent. Elite talent. He's elite talent. going to be world class. Elite talent to me. Elite. Elite. He's going to be world class. We don't know that. Elite talent is. He is. No, elite talent for me is is elite talent is a term of bullshit. Yeah, mm -hmm. go on the it's go on the. How it's many times have we? Talent. How many times have we? He's an we elite signed talent. elite talent and nothing's happened. He is injury no, prone, guys. As Andrew, as there's a reason why you've got to accept this. He is injury there's prone. There's a reason. Okay? He, I have you know a what? high standard he of player, is, and he, he is, is that high he is this, standard. He is this generation's sick note. Yeah. Change no, his name to Sick Note, yeah? No, Winter up real hard, man. <laughs> I'm, 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 not, this, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, not sorry. I'm, I'm in, I'm in the win now. I need I need players who I can rely on. We've got players, Andrew. All our players like, are fit. The ones we got, they're good. They're I'm good, only mate. judging him on that good. this moment in time. He we don't need to rush on. Pulisic back. That's but fine, I'm telling Andrew, you I'm now, when Pulisic plays in the Champions League final, he's the difference. He's that player that makes the difference, bro. Not playing like this, he's talent. Not playing like this. So when, oh, when he plays in the Champions League, he won better than the match. What do you mean not playing like this? Yeah, that's so, the first. So winning man of the match. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Winning the man of the match. Winning the man. Hang on, Charlotte. Charlotte, sorry. Winning the man of the match day for this match is like saying which dog shit I want to step in. The moon the man of match today means nothing. It no, was yeah, so you know what? Can, can I just ask something? Did you watch the game? Yeah, Johnny. No one was man of the match. Johnny, you said today. Johnny, you just you just said you just Johnny. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold no, no, wait. Johnny, you just said you just said to me 
he turns up in the Champions League. Oh, so we should praise him because he only turns up in oh, the Champions no, fucking God. League. He turns up in the most prestigious competition. Oh, what are you talking about? And, okay, what? so no. what if we no, don't no. get the Champions no, League no. one year? What no, if we don't no, get no, the no, Champions League? No, when, no, 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 when he wins the Champions when his goal is an away goal in the Champions League, you're going to be licking his boots, mate. And so you're going to be eating all these words, mate. He's a top baller. Guys, 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 come on. Stop, 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 stop. Andrew and Charlotte, you're talking absolute breeze, mate. Both so, because we have an opinion, it's shit. Yeah. Your opinion, so, you're your opinion, allowed an opinion. opinion. So, you're allowed an opinion, opinion and I'm not. You're not identifying the, quite, the type of quality no, special no, 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 player no, no, no. he is. Allowed, He's high pedigree, bro. He's high pedigree. Yeah, well, your opinion stinks. Right, guys, add score, mate. All right, listen. I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna say this to you right now. Uh, this is this is this is just complete. This I'm don't I, I'm sick to death. You man, just fucking going back and forth about injury playing fucking player. If you compare him, it, right? Listen, for me, he's not elite level. Like Andrew said, you can't say that before he ha when he hasn't even reached the age of 23 yet. Two, he's injury prone. Three, has he really fulfilled a whole season at the club he's expected to perform high standards at? No, he hasn't. Same, but I'm gonna say no. But I, I'm not just gonna back. I'm not gonna just because you're not gonna be celebrating now, Charlotte. Because I'm gonna say this to you right now. All we do is say, "Oh yeah, Pulisic does this in the Champions League." But do we not actually think and retract back that Hudson Odoi is only performing when no one else was? Do we actually do we actually just forget about that? In the last three like, games, how does he slip up? It's been anonymous, how does that slip in people's tongues? And you know what? As well, I think it's an absolute disgrace that you man are actually complaining about these players when Zuma's had an actual good game. So give him some fucking praise because whenever he does a bad yeah, game, Zuma you man are all on it. Already have had. Yeah, already have. Yeah, yeah, he's all right. He's, Zuma's he's got, he's not just want to come we up have given Zuma credit. And, and tell me, give it all the big I am, big bollocks, that Odoi is the best player that just played for Chelsea Football Club. He's done fuck all. He's done nothing. I've never said that. Never said that, that. Never said that, hon. Never said that. I'm going for words in my mouth. Just to clarify, your opinion is shit. Your opinion is shit. And you're guys, a twat. Guys, but do I say that to your face? No, you're a twat. 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 you are a you uh, you, you need to type down and let stop, other people stop, speak, Han. Stop, 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 stop. That's when I, I can't understand. Sorry, I can't hear the question, logic. sorry. Go on, mate. No logic. What was your thoughts on the overall game today, mate? And who who was your man of the match? And who was your worst performer as well? I think you have to give the man of the match to the, to the Twitter and admin, though. Not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> They're yeah, the one right. who created the match, though. They're the one who created this, the lineup mess, though. But yeah, on a serious note, yeah. It, if it wasn't Kepa, we could have lost this game. Truthfully honest. Truthfully okay. honest, honestly. Like, we could have thought asked without Kepa. But all in all, I think in that, in that second half, yeah, Sheffield United kind of quite, uh, like, surprised me a lot. I just think Sheffield United trying to force us to do a mistake. Maybe we were a bit casual, but it might sound weird. I just think th these players are scared to get injured because we got that two-week national break period. Yeah. And the only thing that going to stop... Our progress is that in, is the injuries. So, oh no, like it wasn't it wasn't that bad of a game. But we we, we move on. We move on. Yeah, I get that. I get that. I want to share something with you guys quickly because um, I want to quickly go through our fixtures list. And obviously, we went through quite a hard patch with Leeds, Atletico Madrid, Liverpool, yeah. Everton, yeah. Man United, yeah. Atletico Madrid, and we, we we came through it pretty strong, which was impressive. Yeah. We're now beating Sheffield United 2-0 another job done and we move into all right beginning of April so there's that two week break like Violet said as well two week break and then we get back to West Brom at home which it, for us again we need to continue with you know picking up points especially with West Ham yeah. drawing yeah. with Arsenal as well yeah. and then we've got Porto guys a big game against Porto which is supposedly mm -hmm. away wherever that may be on the yeah. 7th <laughs> but in terms of the Premier League we've got West Brom Palace Palace Brighton Right. Um, scratch West that, West scratch that. The semi final will take place on that 17th of April. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Oh, All right. Okay. So, yeah. West Brom, 
Palace, uh, West Ham, Fulham, and then Man City and Arsenal, which is where it starts getting a bit trickier, as you can see yeah. with Leicester and Aston yeah. Villa. How confident are we, like, of getting top four? Looking at that, and uh, I mean, looking, looking at the games that we've got as well, from Palace to Brighton, say up to Fulham, so West Ham and Fulham. Mm. Do you think there are max maximum points there for us to be taken, and do you think we can still get second? Um. I'm Dep not. I, I told others. you, I'm not. I'm not focused on second. I'm focused on putting distance between who's behind us. Um, so yeah, that's what my thing. So that is to cement ourselves in the top four. Ideally, I'd I take third right now because it leaves us. You know, in that we definitely get into the top into Champions League um, yeah. without anyone like winning it or like a Liverpool winning it or something, and then chucking us out if we finish fourth. Um, so my focus would be finishing third, not second. Um, but yeah. building points behind us. And with these games, uh, I'm sorry, it might sound arrogant, but we should be taking maximum points for every yeah. single fixture. No, no, no and, question. Andrew, I agree with Andrew. Andrew, Andrew just to, remember, yeah. wait, just Andrew. to add to that, just to add to that, yeah. Um, no, don't forget, I think if you look at the fixture in, after the national break, yeah, most of the teams, like likes of Brighton, likes of Fulham, um, West Brom, they, they try to fight for their lives. So... Especially like low block teams, and that like I'm I'm keen to see like what kind of front three that Tuchel gonna set let me, up. Because... Let me say I don't think these will be high scoring games. I think we'll win one or two nil. It won't be like yeah. high scoring games because we we just Andrew. don't we just don't finish them off. We don't finish these teams off. So it might be a yeah. half time. Well, Charlotte, Charlotte thinks you got to get second. Charlotte thinks you're going to get second. <laughs> yeah, does anyone yeah. think Connor? Do you, Connor, do you think we can get second, or uh, how, how do you think Chelsea are playing? So. I watch I watch football, right? And I don't I don't do the whole ridiculousness or like content creation type thing. In reality, I don't care about second. Okay. I care about top four because we're not gonna win the league this year. Mm. And I care about securing securing, you know, Champions League football next season so Thomas Tuchel's team has a chance to succeed and really, you know, next season we can I mean, I don't know if Man City this that's what I'm saying. This season, and I know everybody said it over and over again, COVID this or all this and that, like no fans in the stadium. It does have an impact. I mean, you're seeing some of the weirdest football ever. But unless Manchester City somehow lose all of their games in the season, I don't foresee us winning the league. And then the next step down from that is securing a top four spot. So as long yeah. as we put points behind the people or in front of the people behind us and then we perform as best we can, um, in these, you know, competitions like the FA Cup and Champions League, that's what I care about. And we have such a in-depth squad with okay. all of our bickering aside. We have Hudson Doy is a great player. ZH is coming into form. We've got talent. Christensen's performing. We can rely on Zuma in a back three. We thought we couldn't. Conte speeding up. We have a chance to succeed, and it's just we can say if fans and buts. We can project, but we have the tools in our toolbox now to succeed. And go to semifinals in the Champions League, go to you know finals of the FA Cup, and get top four. It's just about whether you know Tuchel's team can you know keep the system and the momentum going. Yeah, can, I hear can that. I, can I answer, uh, Andrew? Do you remember when uh, we, yeah. we we drew with Leeds, and everyone said to me, "How are you so sure teams are going to drop points?" And mm. in fact, that weekend, everyone dropped points. And West Ham have just dropped points again. Yeah, yeah. And there we, it is. We, we are right now, we are cemented fourth place. If the no, that was their game in hand, Johnny, as well. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so if, if, if the league ends today, we are, yeah. we are Champions League football. It is in our hands now. And I would, it wasn't yeah. in our hands before. Jordy, I, would, I agree people. with you. I would just like to get us third. Do you know what I mean? Just get us third. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Do you know what I mean? Just, you get, just in case. Because we but, don't know, like... We're riding on the high going, yeah, we got Porto. Everyone's going, okay, so we'll get rid of Porto and maybe face Liverpool. But if Liverpool somehow win this again and don't finish in the top four, they take that fourth place. Mm. You know what I mean? I want us I to I thought get the third, rule changed so... with that. I thought the rule changed. I don't know, but I just don't want to risk it. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to get, get us mm. third so we're cemented. And you know what? Get us get us top four quickly so we can focus on the Champions League more and as well. I, and I think you know also, I mean? it was the run. It was down to the run of, of opponents that we had in that period it was bloody yeah. tough. With oh Tuchel man, yeah, you're right. In, you're right. With Tuchel coming in, I mean, he's had 14 games. He's drawn yeah. three and won 11 now. And how many clean sheets? Like, and and, and yeah, 
and we've conceded two goals, one on one goal by Rudiger. So, I yeah. out of out of all the teams in the Premiership, even United and Leeds above, um, sorry, United and Leicester above us, yeah, they're going to drop. They will drop points. I don't think we're that type of team to drop points right now. The way yeah. they're playing. And that yeah, we just got that, to capitalize on it. That's what we just yeah. Got to but our front line, Ziyech, is you. Someone said it. Who was it? And the uh, Connor said it. Ziyech is coming into form. So f- finally, one of our attackers is coming into some sort of form, and and that's all it takes is one, and then two, and then Johnny, can I say something to you, brother? Yeah. So one of the good things that we 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 neglect as Chelsea fans is, I think. Right now, Ziyech coming into form is huge because yeah, Tuchel's is. system allows us to be flexible with our top three. It seems like after Atletico that the Werner, Havertz, and Ziyech combo built a lot of confidence and got people in form. So I think that yeah. we should try and use that. But as Building. say Christian's hamstring kicks one day, Hudson Adoy might turn up. Say Hudson Adoy keeps fluffing his shots. We got Ziyech there. Say Ziyech, you know, keeps getting bodied by tough Premier League football. You've got Hudson and, and, Pul- and Pulisic. You know, we need – I really think that – or me personally, I'm thankful as a Chelsea fan that through these span of games and the system that mm-hmm. Tuchel has created, it allows multiple types of players in different positions to be able to succeed. And hopefully that will carry us through to third place yeah, or second place depending on how it plays Con- out. Connor, you're right. But that's the problem with this international break now, right? It's a, this international break stops anyone building up momentum, right? It stops our momentum. It stops like a Pulisic, say, getting more games quickly now to build up his, you know, to build up some momentum of his own, and start linking up and getting better in all our eyes. Because yeah. I don't hate Pulisic, right? I, I don't hate Pulisic. I just want him to be better. Unfortunately, we're now, we're built up that we need to win now. You know what I mean? We, unfortunately, we can't. Wait, we have to do something this season. Do you know what I mean? This will be a flight. If we don't win anything this season, this is the first time in Roman Ramsey's era we go two seasons without winning anything. That's never I, happened I think before. we will. I think we will. No, that's no, great. I, I, that's yeah. great. But we but, need, but I, I we need we to we, But the international break has come at a really rubbish time for us. because. But international are, break doesn't always you know destroy I, mean? I, I, I wanted it to continue. It, yeah, but they might not all play Andrew. I know, well. but what it, what it might do is we might, play you might pick up a niggling injury or something like that still in the yeah, but break. Like, so what, just... what, if, well, what about this? What if Reese James and Mount go on and play and they score goals and build their form? What if what if Christian goes and plays for the, the men's national team over here on my side of the pond and, and he scores a goal and builds his form? You know, there it's not always a negative that can come out of international break. No, Sometimes but the it problem, can be but, a positive. But the problem is, it's like I only think about Chelsea first, right? The international comes way below my. No, I know that, but I'm saying, and I just again, Chelsea is first, but sometimes international break doesn't always, you know, deter form. It can all, it it can build it. I just think with these, getting these games quick and fast anyway, and then you add like international break into it. I just. For me, I just want us to continue well, building it. You yeah, know? that's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've got the, the semi-final draw here right now as well, which is going to start in the next couple of minutes. So we'll be able to quickly Are we all saying Southampton? Are we all saying Southampton, guys? Yeah. Is that what we're all um, Southampton? <laughs> yeah. Okay, number, two, add, okay, number two. We, we want number two. I, Jim, we want number two. To the board. What do you what are you guys as Chelsea fans, right? From what you've been watching over the season, from Lampard, from previous uh, you know, managers. This is a, and I think, and I don't think people give it enough credit. This system is pretty wild. It's proven that multiple players with different play styles can come in and still push the team's overall goal forward. It doesn't matter if there's a Zuma back there yeah. or a Christensen or an ASP. It doesn't matter if it's Hudson or ZH. It doesn't matter if it's Werner. I mean, again, today may not have been the best example, but at the end of the day, we still slugged out a win. I, I think yeah, Connor, even through. Time. International breaks, saw, we should be fine. The last time I saw us play as good like this was under Lampard uh, against Tottenham Hotspur away, where we absolutely dominated them. Dominated yeah. them. Yeah. And I could not understand for the life of me why Lamps didn't keep playing with that system. I just couldn't understand it. The, the only, the only, compa- the only comparison I can say in the whole um, run, the whole fourteen games, is. Because uh, it's the same system as Conte's first season, because it is the same system, but I think it's played differently. Hmm. I think that one was more based on counter attacking, Conte's one and counter attacking and more pace, where this one is more, I think, defensive and ball control and more passing. 
Yeah. Um, no, no. There's there's more. There's more. Um, uh, there's more tactical. Uh, that's what I mean. Yeah. Where it's like, where yeah, it's like yeah, agree, um, Conte's yeah. is more like rigid. It, it was faster passing. It was built on counter attacking with Alonso and Moses, and then yeah. you had Hazard and I, William and all that. So I think that's it's different. It's the same system, but it's the tactics are different. But. Yeah, I think uh, I think behind the Erling Holland uh, wonder signing, I personally think we need to reinforce our midfield. I really think I, that. I, I think agree. that our midfield can be more suspect than people think. Mm -hmm. and, and there's going to come a point in time where, you know, Conte and Kovacic could pick up an injury. Yeah. And God forbid that happens. I'll go ahead and knock on wood. And well, I would, you, you I would Gilmore. like, I know, I know we have Gilmore, but Jorginho is also getting to that age as well. You want one ice cream? I would prefer <laughs> a, another option. 99 flake, please, Jim. 99 flake. That's yeah. all right. He's outside. Yeah, 99 flakes around, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I agree with Connor and what he says there. One of the things that I think we, we lack a, a lot of, well, say a lot of, not a lot of, but is create. I don't think we have create. We don't we create enough. When we create, we create from our wings. I want to see more of what ZH done against Atletico in the second half where he picks the ball up, he turns. He looks up and Werner's making them runs on the last man and we play it quick. I want yeah. us to have different uh, different ways of attacking, you know, and that's the only that's, that, that's the only thing I think we lack. I think we need, this is why I say we need another winger. I, th I think four wingers are important, but if you can get a winger that that can create like Ziyech does, but in a different way, because I feel like with Pulisic, he, he's more of a direct player. He'll drag players out of position to make space for players to run in. However, he won't always be the guy that's going to look up and make that final pass, if that makes sense. Yeah. I think we I think we miss that. Um we do miss that as as a club. So I agree with Connor. I think I think we need a bit more creativity. Also, I agree in the centre of central of midfield that maybe we do need maybe a DM. Because yeah, I don't yeah, think Jordan yeah. yeah. Kovacic yeah. and Kante's yeah. the answer, yeah. even though Kante's playing very well. It's pretty um, wild to sit here and listen to all of us say this when it's literally Tuchel's not even halfway through a season. He's already turning well, out team Connor, performances. Connor, I don't think he. I don't think. I think if he gets the players he wants in the preseason, I don't think we play this system next year. You really? I don't think he does. I think he's only doing it because, like you say, he's he's coming mid-season. That's what uh, he didn't let anyone go during the, the January window. So he wants to assess everyone, and I think he's playing it. He's building from the back, right? So you Maybe think you think next season if he gets the signs he wants, he'd rebuild think, rather than we, continue to we, build? I think we play different formations next year. I don't think he excuse because remember he's basically apart from a, a half or something in one of the games, he's basically played this formation since he came here. And I think if he gets the players in and out that he wants, he he'll he'll be more flexible. I, We've seen it with PSG how flexible he yeah. is, and with his Dortmund I, teams. So you know how every manager kind of has like something that you can't uh you can't really adjust for in a game. I feel like yeah. Thomas Tuchel is more of the person that would allow teams to struggle based on not knowing what players he's going to play in position mm -hmm. versus what formation he's going to come into a game with. I feel like we yeah. have a player base now that fits this formation. And if you're an opposing team, if you're Sheffield United, I mean, aside from coming off like a generic Atletico game where, you know, people are suspended and things like that, you don't know if you're going to get hudson Adore or if you're going to get Ziyech or if you're going to get Pulisic or if it's going to be, you know, Christensen in the middle or Thiago if he's healthy or I, I don't know. You think he, you think that Thomas Tuchel would rather change formation than be a uh, – because he said it before that he's key on player rotation and, and man no, management. I think, I think he'll, he'll get all the players in. He'll get the players in from loan as well because he would like to assess them. And then he'll give Crow. a list. Of, he'll give a list. Tamori, of man. Do you know what for me? Well, so for me, the thing is, sorry, hang on. Sorry, the thing is, it's like, yeah, exactly. Wants, I would just back him and do what he wants, essentially. Yeah. Whether this club actually he, does he know, that, or he knows what another. he's doing. No, yeah, I, is, I back him hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, but that we do. Will the club actually? Because they haven't really, you know, you know what I mean. They've only given him eighteen month contract. So who do you want, guys? I just want him to be back, especially if he. I'll say anyone, Number two, yeah. Southampton. Southampton. Yeah, but do we want Southampton now or in the final? Maybe they might beat like a Leicester or a Man United. I, I, don't I know. fancy we... Southampton against uh, Leicester or United, actually. And then us as City. Let's beat City. I want to play City, man. I want City. I want to do You them. want City? Yeah, Let me know. I, do. I, think too, I, <laughs> think I don't know, too, man. Yeah. Jim, Jim, at the end of the day, we're a Wembley specialist. So... Here we are. We, that we, is our home. Do you Second know what? Home. 
Chelsea, is, Chelsea yeah. turn up for the big games. We will. We will Schwan, uh, here. He came. He, he was in the chat going, I need to deal with Johnny. Let me on. Let me no. on. So you're here, Velbishwan. <laughs> you ain't said anything. You haven't said anything, mate. So w w what's going on? Where are you? Are you still there? Mute. He's on mute. He's muted, didn't he? Velbishwan? Oh, he's on mute. He's on Can mute, I ask you yeah. a question, Jim? Go on, man. Yo, so I just want to get people's opinions on this. All right. And this is. While we're here asking questions, I figured why not, right? What if Chelsea go on to grab an FA Cup win, even a Champions League win, and say secure third or second place in the Premier League, and every player is on form? What do we do in the summer? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? You still? Who are you giving away? You still or do we? Or do we keep everyone and we just and we only? I mean, what do you? What do you guys do? What do we do there? You leave. You I say to Tuchel, do what you want, mate. Yeah, I think we don't... still need to discuss our fullback situation on the left. Yeah. I don't think Alonso's the answer, and I don't even. I'm not really entirely sure if Chilwo is as well. To back, be honest. New backup um, goalkeeper, new centre back priorities. Yeah, well. yeah, I think we need a. Li you we, guys we, don't we, think we need, we need anything in the midfield. I mean, yeah. Manchester United. A DM, a new DM. Um, I think we. Do you know what? I think we need strengthening it every position. Like, <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? It's been 200 it's million. Mad. You know, it's it's mad. Yeah, it's mad. Well. You know what so I really think? First of all, City. I think we need a real preseason. I think, I think yeah, this I needs to go hit the we're weight room, City. and and City. we need to we need a preseason. We're playing City, guys. Okay, okay. let's go. Oh. Let's what already? Go. Why is it so yeah. far behind? Let's the hell? Go. Right, no. Let's go. All right, you got I that. Wanted you got I wanted that. that. That's I fine, City man. I back two cool one off game. I back him. Yeah, Man United winning it then, isn't it? There we go. No, Man United might not even get through, man. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> Leicester you might go know. through. I think it'd be a Leicester Southampton. I think United would get knocked out. Ollie's a bottle job, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Imagine if he gets knocked out of another um, Europa semi final. I'll tell you what, if we, beat, if we beat Man City on the, in the semis, we're winning this. You know that. I'm telling you now, we are winning this. Yep. And, and Jem, also, if we meet him in the Champions League, in the final, we're beating him. Uh, anyway, even if we have to play Man City <laughs> and then play Man United in the yeah. final, let's just do both the Manchester teams like we did with the Liverpool, the Merseyside yeah. teams. We dealt with Everton yeah. and Liverpool, shut yeah. up, both back-to-back. -back, so let's do the mm -hmm. same with them. Yeah. I have yeah. confidence in our defence, I really do. Mm. You know what? And we go in as underdogs. I love going in as underdogs. I always like going in as underdogs. Yeah, he's at 17th, 18th of the games. So. Listen to that. Yeah, yeah that'd be good. I just there really think we're going to need Conte on the field, man. I'm telling you, in these games... <laughs> Conte yeah, trip. Was, the Conte trip. He's going yeah. to need to put in a shift like against Atletico. No, yeah. him, and his two bro time. him and his two brothers will be on that pitch, trust me. I mean, it's too bad. That's the first yeah. time we faced City in the FA Cup <laughs> semi since 2013. So, wow. Well, yeah, you guys should remember. Beat, we should have beaten him that day as well. Do you guys I remember, thought... like, I think it was two months ago we played City and they put three past us in the matter of, yeah. like, in the matter of, like, 16 minutes. And it was, and I'm not going to lie, it was good football. It was pretty bad yeah. to watch. They're facing yeah. a different animal now. This is I've different. got one more yeah. question for you guys animal. before we, um, Blue Ice has joined us as well. Blue Ice, how you doing, mate? You are right? <laughs> yeah, I'm very well, thanks. How you guys doing? <laughs> not bad, bro. It's, this guy is very controversial, man. I love it. Blue I love Ice. that he's here as well. Blue Ice, what was your thoughts on yes. the performance today, mate? And, and who do you think, who was your man of the match and who was your worst player on the pitch as well? Sure. Um, th thanks for having me, guys. How you guys all doing? Not bad, mate. Not bad. Good, good, good. Um, <laughs> I had to wake, up, I had to wake up at 3 a.m. for this game. I don't know why. Oh, I did, nice. But I did. Nice, nice. Uh, for me, man of the match was Kepa. I uh, doffed my hat for the young man. He, he came out strong for us, and those strong hands to put that ball outside was really a game saver for us. So I got to give it to Kepa. Like and yeah. um, unfortunately, my, my worst player was Cho. I'm not yeah, sure what no. we're going to do about Cho. I'm not sure what we're going to do about not Mason Mount. About Mason Mount. Uh, you, you know what? You know what? Mason, you know what? The funny thing is the coach still didn't sub Mason Mount for almost 90 minutes. Yeah, and yeah. he yeah. tried so him he in different, three different positions as well. Exactly. Which, which is what I really excited me is I, I saw him in the foxhole. He played in the pivot. He played as an eight. He played up <laughs> front. So, so the coach is actually kind of looking at Mason and – and he's actually building a utility player out of him. So Mason, no, Mason, mm. I think Mason, 60%, he had a 6 out of 10. 
But in yeah, all honesty, Cho, if if we can't, I think Cho should be converted to a wing back, and if it doesn't work, we ship him. I'm on uh, wow. because okay. he's got not he's got he's got nothing in the production phase of the game. He, no assists, no goals. And if it doesn't work next season, I know um, one of you was, was asking what we should do next season. Ship him and bring in Sam Maximon from, from Newcastle. No. I'm telling no. you for that oh, point. Oh, oh. Hey, I know, I know, I know. He's I know. His apart, record, bro. He's apart his from record. his injuries, apart from his injuries, that, that kid can play. I mean, it's another Pulisic. We don't need that. Go, yeah, I have a go at Pulisic. This guy's injury That's true. record. Jesus That's true. Christ. That's true. He's worse than Pulisic, man, with his injury record. No, thank you, Jogon. Bye. Yeah, See you later. Yeah. yeah, he's a. I, I, I hear you. I. It's just. It's sad. It's sad that I have Why to go after. Why don't we just get Neto? Neto, Do get Pedro. Neto. I just have to clarify. Why yeah. are you even debating getting rid of Hudson Odoi? I'm not saying getting rid of him doesn't I'm provide sorry. anything. I, yeah, he doesn't. But he does, though. Okay, okay, okay. So answer me this: When Lampard mm -hmm. was destroying our team. Who came on mm. as a sub and actually looked like they had a spark? In, apart from Mason Mount, who was actually consistently yeah. okay, who who had that you know, spark? The when season, he came on? Show some respect. Yeah, but but, but um, yeah, right remember, who came on? So, who came on yeah. in the sub and actually showed that they wanted something apart yeah, from but, Mason Mount? Hudson and Boy. How are you, and I'm sorry. How are you justifying that? My brain doesn't say. I think my brain says that's a stupid move. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't got the minimum. You could have. You could throw. I mean, you could do is, a backflip. Oh, you could do knows, jumping mate, jacks. Does. It doesn't matter. He's not. He's yeah. not performing in the, he's in not the performing. final third. Not, it's sad. The hey, way you Charlotte, criticize Charlotte, I hear you. The same way. I, Charlotte, yeah, I hear you, but it's just sad. I show me this season what he's capable mm. of. He showed us last season. We saw moments of greatness last season, did we not? Mm. Yes or no? Yes. Have we seen moments. what we saw? Have we saw? Have we saw? Mo have we saw that like that last season? This season? No, no, we haven't. So Where's Hudson Adoy's moment of greatest greatness? Tell me when Hudson Adoy's moment of greatness oh, is. So, yeah. so when Lampard was destroying his team and him actually. Where's his goals and assists? It means nothing. Oh, so he has so to he have was, goals and assists so, now. So he was happy. Oh, so he has to now. So he has to now. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he does. You're, you're he faulting does. Christian Pulisic he for does. not performing the same way he was last year. He was poorly. He was treated poorly under Lampard and he didn't get that many games under Lampard. Fact. So don't what come at me do with your stupid agenda. He came back from injury. Now I'm, now I'm stupid. Your Pulisic agenda is shit. Is thin, and his there is no agenda. Well, and that's why he didn't play. Well, all, all, I'm I'm sorry, I'm sorry, was just all I want. All I wanted to say, Johnny, you've oh, sorry. Called my opinion. Johnny, you've already called my opinion irrelevant and stupid. So don't come at me with your oh, I had to let the All right, this is your fact. The doy the doy didn't play last that. season because he was carried he was carried and recovering from injury. My opinion of you is and his defensive work was rubbish. Blue eyes coming on causing trouble again. <laughs> hey, Char Charlotte, <laughs> Charlotte, 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 I hear you. Charlotte, I hear you. I'm just as frustrated. Um, like you are in regards, because I'm a, I'm a huge Cho fan, but you know the big picture is is the bad. Mount and, was not the worst and, player today. Cho was the worst player. And let me finish, John, 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 Johnny. One second. Um, with with oh with Cho, goodness. I mean, he's got no production up front, and if he cannot, I think I think Thomas Ooh. Tuchel can turn him into can turn him into a very good Victor Moses in the wing back, <laughs> in a wing back role. Oh, yeah, like a, a better, a better version, a better version of Victor winning, Moses. Championship yeah. winning, James. Championship winning. No, no, no. A better yeah, yeah, version of Victor you. Moses in the as in the wing back. So it takes away the pressure of him trying to produce up front, and he can actually work on his defensive set of skills. Because I'm right still now, for that, that wow kid factor from Cho, that beautiful goal. It's true. That, it's that, that I, yeah, I, I hear moment. you. I, agree I hear you. I, I, agree. I hear you. To a degree. Pulisic, I, I, he's got nothing. And that's the difference. And yeah, and, and when he and when he has a chance, he flops it. When he has a chance, it's like he's thinking he's thinking for three people at once. Like I, he's he needs to calm down. Like calm yeah. down. I'll, I, I mean, will I'm, say I, I hmm. think that un, the difference between me and Charlotte is I think Cho has a massive amount of potential, and I think we should keep him. But he just isn't being developed or utilized right now like that. I won't. I won't look mm. at the way Charlotte looks at Pelusic and say we need to get rid of him immediately, and he's not worth yeah. anything because they both have great potential. But the thing is, yeah. is right now Cho has not been put either in a position 
or wasn't treated fairly under Frank Lempar, but has not had the flash in the pan that other players have had, and that's not yeah, justification. Connor, I don't want to have all this this treated unfairly by Lampard. He came out no. and said the gaffer he knows. Was, he says, I'm not he fit was, to play. I'm not fit to play. I need to be eased in. Just to clarify, He's Connor, so I actually agree with so you. So you're saying that I the manager ruined him with him playing that Hudson Odoi has potential. I agree Absolute with you that Hudson Odoi has more potential than he is right now. Yeah. I'm I've not saying that. He's still clothes. a young... He's still young... Play, he's still young, and he. I, I'm not saying... He, he's at his potential right now. I'm, he can be improved. I'm not saying that. But I have, like, when under Lampard, for me, he was, when he was played, when he came on as a substitute, he was one of those people that showed well. a spark, yeah, that I showed agree. that he yeah. wanted he something. Did. And I yeah, can't yeah. fault that. I'm, I can't yeah, take but, that away. And but, I'm not just going to be like, I'm not going to have people like Johnny dissing him and telling me shit, whereas at least, Connor, you actually make valid points. No, no, he no, had no, a, no, no. He had no, a no, spot, no. but what did he do, Sean? No, Johnny, this anything. is what I'm going to say about Cullen Hudson. He didn't do anything. Right? It's what I'm it's saying. He with, doesn't have any thing, end product. Thing with and you lot, player. you lot come at me about Mount not having end product. Man's has dug us out of games and you oh lot want to come and crucify us. Johnny. Oh, my God. A doy hasn't delivered anything. Anything. Exactly. I'm, I'm I'm with you. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Tell us about coming at me now. Lester is 2-1 up. Lester is 2-1 up. Guys, guys, guys. I'm really I'm not going to have that shit. Who has no, go on, Lambs. Go on, Lambs. Vital with, um, with vital goals, right? Pulisic has dug us out of games in the back end of last season with vital goal, right? Okay. But so you can't... But he's not the only one. He's this the year, only this Ross year, Barks who else has, has done it? With this vital year, goals. I'm talking about this year. Who's done it? I'm not talking. Of, I'm not just talking about this year. I'm just talking. All right, I'm last year he scored seven goals and five I'm assists, and relevant. his I'm goal got us Champions League goal. football. Big man player. Johnny, can you let Lamb speak? Can player. you just let Lamb speak? Johnny, one second, one second. Can we let Lamb speak, speak, man? People. People. You have to account for people's performances last season and this season. The point that Charlotte's trying to make, which I do agree with her, right? Mason Mount is a couple years older than um, Callum Hudson Odoi, not that oh, much. Older. Yes. Yeah. yes, Callum Hudson Odoi had a really, really bad injury, and yeah. yes, it's taken him a while to recover, and that's probably why we barely saw him last season. Thank but, you. That's what I've been but, saying. But Charlotte's but, like, why is he not playing? Why is he not playing? But Lampard I didn't agree. play him. Hold on, let me finish. Let me land. I agree, Callum Hudson Odoi. He's not the finished product. He's not the finished article. But I've been more impressed with his comeback from his injury than I have with Christian Pulisic. Yes, um, Callum Hudson Odoi. He still needs to work on his finishing. But from the glimpses, the potential, I can see the improvements there. Once he yeah. gets. Can I can I just what? say, Lan? Johnny, one Man's second. Like one Pulisic second. Just yeah. come on. I right, think. he's hardly played, and he was man of the match today, and he okay. didn't even really do much. No one wait, fucking wait, deserved wait, man wait, of the match apart wait, from Zuma. Yeah, but wait, he was wait, given wait, man wait, of the match, wait, and he almost wait, scored wait, a goal. Lester, Lester's up two one. He's done three players and almost scored a goal, a fantastic goal. He almost scored a goal. He did not He didn't. Yeah, but Cho did nothing, mate. Cho did nothing. Oh, oh my God. God. They all right, did I'm nothing. People. Anyway, I'll mute him. Mute him. Charlotte, one second, please. I'm trying to talk and people are shouting. Sorry, so let, let me just two seconds. All right. Callum Hudson Adoy, right? <laughs> this, this, look, I'm going to be, I'm going to say it as it is, right? Callum Hudson Adoy, in, uh, when he first got it, when he first broke into the, the Chelsea team, he was, uh, a, an advocate to be one of the biggest. Uh, talented players that had come up from the Chelsea reserves at the time. There was so much praise about him and how good he was. And when he came into Chelsea, he he played okay. He had good games. He then got that injury. Yeah. He got that really bad injury. And he came back. And he just wasn't the same. Coming into this yeah. season, for me, he's had his best season at Chelsea I'm talking about in terms of starting in, in, in the first team, yeah? For me, I think he's been... I agree that he doesn't he doesn't do enough in the final thirds. I think people want goals from him. What he does give you, which is something that I, I keep saying, gives us a lot of difference, uh, difference in terms of the wingers that we got, is that he'll hog the wing, he'll pick the ball up, 
and he will drive with the ball. So he will drive with the ball. He'll, he'll, you know, he'll make you, he'll produce you good crosses. He'll take a player on. The only other player that we've got in the team that likes to take a player on is Christian Pulisic. The difference with Christian Pulisic is that he won't always go out to the wing to then cross. He will, he's more direct. He will get the ball and he will do a one, two and he'll, you know, a bit like Hazard, you know, try and get in the box, cut inside someone and have a shot. So what I'm trying to say is, the players that we've got at the moment are all different in their own ways. There's not one better than the other. One should go here, one should go there. We actually need all of them for, for different reasons because they give us something mm. different. They give the squad something different. I think Callum hudson Adoy sh- is shouldn't leave Chelsea and I think we should be patient with him because to be fair to him, when he has came on, especially under Lampard, he has had an impact, an impact in games. For Chelsea, he has. Yeah. Christian Pulisic has, in, in, in from what I've seen this season, hasn't as much. Today, he was on, on form. I want Christian Pulisic to continue that. A bit like Ziyech said the same thing with, with him. He was shocking when he came back from his injury. He struggled, but then he got his goal against Atletico. He had a good game and he had, you know, he came on today and got a goal again. It's all to do with confidence. Do you know what I mean? So for me, yeah. Callum hudson is important. Callum hudson should be a part of this team. And we should slowly, slowly, slowly be patient with him. But I agree, there's a there's a level. At the moment, he's a very good player. But can he become a Sancho level, world class? Yeah, or can, I, can, I, can I add to that's, that real quick? Can that's I say the something? Bar. Do you know what I mean? Um, I, I, my bad, Blue. I'll, you can go after me real quick. I think mm. Cho is a sleeper agent, man. I think what people are are missing about him. Is he's so he's so he's built different than wingers. Is, he's stronger. Yeah. He's got a he's got a lower center of gravity. I think if we can turn him into a, a real right <laughs> wing back, he is going to be a generational talent because he's so naturally final third inclined. Like you can see, he can get himself into positions to strike. If we he's almost like what we want Chilwell to be, but he lacks the defensive aspect, and then Chilwell lacks the offensive aspect. Exactly. So if we can get him into a right wing back, I think he would be a generational talent. Yeah, get him and he's get also him. he's he, like look at Christian. Christian's a thinner guy. They're trying to teach him ways in the off season and right now to stay uninjured. I mean, yes, Cho had an unlucky injury, but he's a bigger guy. He is built different than most wingers, and he I I'm telling you, and this may just be me speculating. If we were to somehow develop him into a right wing back, I think he would be generational talent. Because he's so thing, naturally yeah. inclined. That's the thing, Connor. It's getting the best out of him, isn't it? And this is what I keep saying. He's yeah. there at the moment. Can he get to there? And then that's yeah. the big. And he needs to be so more. Well, right now, the that's... only the only generation, the, the, the only player, or uh, there's two players that you can put in the bracket of, uh, in my opinion, oh, here to, he goes. Def- to definitely to definitely become generational and big big man players that win the big trophies on a consistent basis is Havertz and Mason Mount. Those are the two. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Um, no, is it not, anyway. is he wants, it not, he wants, oh, he wants, to, he wants to have a chat with you about your Mason Mount slander. Oh, this is what, this is what, this is what, not, anyway. here we go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, first I would have just um, uh, Cho and uh, Pulisic thing. Cho has offered more than Pulisic. Like, what has Pulisic done? <laughs> Thank you so anyway, much. go on to Mason Mount. We've been here. Tell us about Mason Mount. I agree. Tell us about Mason Mount. We've been arguing about yeah, that for just a minute. Mason Mount was shit. Like, when are you going to admit he was shit today? Like, no, he, he wasn't doing? shit today. Yeah. Colin he wasn't shit, was man. Shit. Giroud was yeah. shit. Sure. Sure was <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, but Mark is just here, you know, and he can't even get the ball to Giroud. Can we just agree they were all as bad as each other, to be no, honest? No, but they weren't. They weren't. But they were. Oh, me, like Mason yeah. Mount played false nine, pivot, he, central midfield exactly, in the exactly. one fucking game. And you're telling let's me not, Let's not shit. mention... Let's not mention Mason Mount and Cho in the same sentence. You don't know football. So you don't know anything? No, no, no. You don't know football, man. We didn't miss him in the Atletico game. 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 You scream all you want, love. I'm still going to give you a breath here, man. I'm a woman and I don't know about football. Is that what you're trying to say? I never said that. I'm saying that to this wish whatever his name is. Charlotte and Lambs, you three you don't know ball, man. Coming out and saying Mount is shit when he's played played out of position three times in a game. Whenever I'm allowed an opinion, you twat. With eight changes as well. You don't know ball. Stop, 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 stop. Velvish one. Velvish one. You were talking. Velvish one. Go on, finish what you're saying. 
Yeah, Mason Mount. Fucking yeah. disrespectful, man. Okay, okay, yeah. The rest of the players were poor, but Mason Mount is. I I hear Mason Mount is the one who creates the most chances. He's been robbed of assists. Yeah, yeah. Where has. was he tonight? If what do you mean, where was he? How many changes did we have today? How many changes, bruv? Yeah, you only Eight had changes, a few. Eight changes, bruv. So, yeah. So eight changes today. I thought he had. had the best squad in the league. He was. He, we had eight changes. <laughs> In our team that hasn't played with each other, bruv. All right. And on top of that, you're playing Mason Mount in three different positions, changing tactics three times in a team that hasn't played with each other. I'm sorry, mate, but if you do not think that all these players are magically going to work in a game against a physical Sheffield United, you're crackers, bruv. You don't know ball. I'm sorry, mate. There's nothing else to say. And Cho I have and a question. were the worst players on that pitch. No, End of discussion. Something. I'm going to say yeah, something but when now. Has you, you, can, you, can you can disagree with my opinion all you want. I okay? don't want to hear your I opinion. Don't... I keep hearing it. It's the same boring shit. I'm just about to say, please don't hear the opinion. Please, please, please don't tell me I don't know nothing about ball because I have a different opinion. Just because I have a different opinion. You know what? The whole Doesn't Chelsea fan base, the whole oh, Chelsea fan base, all right? Oh, you don't ask, wrong, you don't don't ask the Chelsea fans yeah, yeah, about Mason Mount and calling him shit oh, today. Oh, and I, I know, I'll let them all run their mouth on you. And right. you can have it out with them. Austin, I'm just Go telling on. you now. Because, because you're talking rubbish, Charlotte. You're just here to trigger me off. That's all you want to do, mate. You just want to trigger to create a bit of hype. Run to the terrace, do whatever. Run with them all, man. I don't want to hear this nonsense just, anymore. No, Johnny, can you just let this speak? I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Can you just let me Johnny, speak? Johnny, I've stop, let you stop, speak. Stop, stop, stop. I've let seconds. you speak. Firstly, just to clarify, you can actually, you can genuinely tell me that my opinion is different to yours. Don't tell me that my opinion's you dead just told and it's me wrong. Is shit. Secondly, Secondly, you told me our best player of the season is shit. Today. What do you, you fucking know, expect me to today. say to you? Yes. Oh, yes, Charlotte. Yes. You're right, you Charlotte. Three bags full, oh, Charlotte. Do you want sugar with that, no, Charlotte? Hold on. Hold on. Shit, Please. Johnny. You are shit. 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 Sorry, can you just tell me? Can you please just say, please don't ever come at me and tell me that I don't know about football. Because I, I said do. to you, Lance, and that bitch Westmore, whatever his name is, don't you don't know ball because you're saying they smell shit. Because right, you are fucking dare you. Actually, how fucking dare you? You're a. See you later. She's don't block me again like you did. That's the second time she's had she to leave. And because we're, we're, all we're doing is disagreeing about Mason Mount and Cho. And it's football, guys. Why are we oh, taking this so But personally? all she does like, is scream down the mic. She just It's football. She anyway, on that angry. note, I think I'm going to end it. It's nearly over two hours, this this stream. Um, oh guys, just God. remember, you lot, yeah? You want to come at me and tell me Mason Mount's shit? Be prepared for fucking Johnny Bombs. I will land them all day long. And if you yes, don't like what brother. I say, Let's then go, go and waddle along wherever you can. Johnny, I'm with you. Johnny, I'm with you on Mason Mount. Don't, 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 don't worry, man. I'm with you. Show him some Love fucking it. respect, man. Mason Mount is money any day. Don't mention Mason Mount and Cho in the same sentence, please. Mason Mount is utility. Mason Mount is the future. Leave that kid alone. He's trying, he's trying to grow his wings. And he's shown it to different coaches. So let's not you even know, mention I'll Mason. Say, and I'll I, say, I, I, you don't know ball. Mic, I'll say bro. to everyone who thinks Mason Mount shit, you don't know ball. Because every fucking person in football in the industry that plays the game, every manager, two shot own manager, Lampard, uh, uh, flipping Roy Keane, all the Absolutely. fucking pundits, they all Johnny. rate the guy Johnny. as a top draft right, player. Right. Right. I'm not league. gonna listen to Chelsea fan base that's so toxic, all right, Johnny. about Mason Mount. I listen Johnny. to people in the so game, bro. People are gonna disagree though. It's foot it's football. Bro, you know what? Don't just hang come on, at me and say he's shit. On, don't just say shit. On. I don't hear let's, it. Let's all of us just calm down. Okay, right. I think so can I, up, I, can I ask a question? No, no, hang on, hang on, Johnny. Ram, if you come here, bruv, if you come no, here, I'll wait. tell you to fuck off to the terrace, mate, as well. <laughs> I'll tell you to what the long there, mate, son. Because if you're going to come here and try and trick me, bruv, I'm going to eat you up, bruv. Johnny, 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 come on. Let him talk, let him talk. Money, miss. When he wins Champions League, you can all come and apologize. All exactly. of you. Exactly. Just relax. Wait, wait, go on, Grams. Go on, Grams. Go on, Grams. Oh, no, go on, right. Grams. right, let's let's do <laughs> First of all, uh, there was a lot of disrespect given to both parties. I think I think 
after the stream, all of you near apologize to one another. Uh, secondly, uh, Johnny, no one's saying Mason Mount is a shit player. They're just saying he had a shit game today. Lambs, what Rams, whatever the fuck your name is, yeah? All right? Listen to me. <laughs> Charlotte said he was shit. Will Vishram said he was no, shit today. Oi. And then they cover it up by going, they're all shit. He today. was the worst player on the pitch, yeah? Today, so don't fucking lie today. to me, man. Don't lie there. to me. Don't today to he me. was bad. Today he was bad, like everyone right, Jim, else. He wasn't bad. He wasn't the worst player on the pitch. You're going on like he was the worst player on the pitch. He was not. Don't talk rubbish.